flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday chat? My God, how are y'all doing today? Somebody said, love that song. It is a good song. Fucking chunkles for the 10 gifted subs. Off ripping the goddamn stream. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted chunkles. Chunkles 999. Cruz, Becky, Ben, uh, Kaya, Tharu, and Haluga for the sub. Um, Salty Unreal gave me a dono of $115 10 hours ago. I wasn't even live! What the fuck? Like, is he even in my chat right now? Yo, thank you for the fucking dono if you watch the VOD, bro. Salty, you fucking goat. Chunkles for the 10, dropping low kiwi for the sub, YY for the thousand, but he's 21 for the sub, check it for the three. My friend Matt just came out as trans, can he get a shout out? Shout out to Matt. Uh, Neil, uh, Aiden, and Elite for the sub, Behemoth for the three. Just had Woohoo wearing my Joe Bart sweater, life is good. What does that even fucking mean? Do you mean a Yoohoo? That is not a dub. If you had a fucking Yoohoo. Do you guys like Yoohoo's? Yoohoo's are fake chocolate milk. It's a it's like chocolate flavored water. Ew. Um yes. Dude, the only positive thing about a Yoohoo is when you would get the box Yoohoo and you would open both of the corners and then jump on it and it would make like a gunshot sound. That might be a very niche thing, but it'll be relatable for, like, five people in my chat. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Let me pull up a picture of a boxed Yoohoo. This is a Yoohoo, right? And when you finish drinking them, there's, like, two packs on the sides, and you pull them off, lay it on the ground horizontal, and jump on it. And it and it makes like an obscenely loud noise. Um Jiggy for the sub, Addy for the sub, Elite for the three. Woohoo means sex. Oh. Dropping and punkas for the sub, plas for the three. Just called it who the fuck calls Okay, anyways. Just called in sick to work to watch the stream, really. Elite for the sub. Uh, or Ellie 2. I don't know how you say that. Behemoth for the three. And Addy for the sub. Uh, well, that was an awkward start to stream. Endo for the sub. Chat, it's a react day today. Uh, we got a lot of reacts that we're doing. In what language? I don't know. Bro's definitely been mewing lately. I don't mew. I am a looks maxer. No. Uh, ask over the sub. We got a lot of reacts today, today, chat. Uh, it's going to be a full react day today. Tomorrow's going to be a fucking Block Wars tourney at 2. Sunday's going to be reacts at 2. Monday, we're doing fucking VR at 4.30. Maybe some other games after. Tuesday, I'm not live. Uh, Wednesday is going to be Itch Games and Little Misfortune. Thursday's going to be Random Games, Infinite Craft, Friday Reacts, Saturday. Uh, I don't know. Next Saturday, I don't know what we're doing. Ask over the sub. But chat. What are the vids? That's what I'm do. That's what I'm about to go through right now. Got a lot of vids for today. Off rip, new Sons of the Forest trailer. Gonna be watching it. Only a minute. Uh, apparently they. Apparently Sons of the Forest was a beta, or like an early release. Didn't even know that. But now like the full game is out or some shit. Uh, then we have a Joe Bartolozzi out of context video. I haven't watched one of these in a while. Uh, but we're gonna give it a watch. One of you guys sent this in. It's supposed to be funny clips of me, so we'll watch that. Uh, then we have officers amazingly keep straight face during a rest cop body cam video. Uh, girl gets cheeks clapped while boyfriend fights war. You won't believe it. It's a tomorrow teachings video. This is going to be the hardest watch of the day. Uh, I have it in the middle for that exact reasoning. Uh, we got to build up to it. Okay, this is going to be the worst watch uh, of the day. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody also acts disabled in this video because I scanned it. Uh, cause it has cheats getting clapped, so I wanted to make sure it's not TOS. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, he's retarded. Gonna be a bad watch. Uh, Bigfoot, uh, footprints found in Oregon. 
uh, best of stupid game show answers, uh, and then I almost fought a caddy, uh, a Dr. Disrespect video. I've never watched a Dr. Disrespect video, but this one's supposed to be funny, uh, and, you know, it's a good end off of the stream, kind of little funny watch party type thing. Uh, the Siump for the sub, that's six foot for three. So sad, Evers can't upload your VODs anymore. Can you please make it so they can, bro? I'm begging. I really want to refrain from getting mad at you uh, because I have no idea how you have logic, right? Um, I have my own VOD channel now, okay? Uh, mods, could you pin the VOD channel uh, link? Uh, I have, okay, don't pin the word penis, Verbus. Uh, Verbus, uh, you're never here, man. And every time you are here, you just pin the word penis. Can we, uh, pin, uh, can we pin the VOD channel there, Verbus? Um, yeah, instead of pinning the word dick. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, he's not gonna do it. Jesus Christ. It's like, why do I even have him as a mod? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay, there's Fiddledinks. Thank you, Fiddledinks. There we go, Fiddledinks. W Fiddledinks actually does uh, mod stuff. Uh, there's the VOD channel, so that's why Everest stopped posting. Right, so I, I know you might have an attachment to Everest for some reason, but I'm just uploading the new VODs on my channel. Uh, so there's no need for Everest to post anymore, so I told them to stop. Uh, w Everest for posting my previous VODs. They got a fucking 100,000 subscribers. They're probably going to start making their own content, but uh, I mean, I have my own VOD channel now. There's no real need for them to also post my VODs. Floating for the three. Uh, so excited for Brooke's book. Uh, what, the one that she's working on? Uh, Asta for the sub, Endo for the sub. Uh, the CM, uh, Jangni for the three. I like a girl from a different town, and she doesn't know me. What should I do to get to know her? How do you like her if she doesn't know you, and she's from a different town? Red Knight, it's Jake, Aiden, and Spikey for the sub, Dreamer for the thousand, but he's love your streams, uh, love listening uh, during the work, your voice really calms me, really, my voice calms you, and Jake, me for the three, um, I mean, dude, I don't know, if you ever see her just spark up a conversation, the way that you're portraying this is if you know her, but she doesn't know you, uh, and I don't want to tell you to, like, stalk her and then try and spark up a conversation, how do you like her if she doesn't even know who you are? Can I ask that? Do you just think she's hot? Like, is that... Like, how do you how do you have an emotional attraction to somebody you don't know? Like, they don't know you. She doesn't know me. What should I do to get to know her? I don't know. If you ever see her, I mean, like, I'm assuming you must see her often. Spark up a conversation. Love for the sub. A lot of people know somebody they don't know. What? But, like, yeah, you might know of someone that doesn't know you, but how do you like them? Jake Need for the Three. We know each other, but we don't know each other well. Okay, well, you fucking phrased that terribly. You were acting like you, like, watched them in the grocery store from a distance or something like that. <laughs> you're, you're acting like... Like, you, like, stare through the windows or some shit. Um, I, dude, if you know each other but don't know each other well, like, I mean, if you have, like, if you if you guys have each other's number or, like, you have her on social media, I mean, you could, like, fucking slide up on one of her stories or fucking try and spark an IRL combo. I would say something in real life is probably going to be better. But, I mean, I don't know. It's really how you want to approach that. For lack of the three. I want to ask if you have any tips like getting started with exercising, can't find a workout plan at all. Um, workout plan you don't really need necessarily because not every workout plan is going to work for everybody. What I would say is have a good split, like find a workout split that works for you for what body parts you want to work on. Uh, and then, I mean, just slowly develop something. You could look up a base workout program on Google and change it. They probably have those. Uh, you don't have to like pay for workouts usually anymore. It's not fucking 2010, right? You could find pretty good workouts. Uh, Krizos of the sub GMT for the three. What's poppin'? Want to let you know, uh, that I'm getting baked, that getting baked in England is not a super idea. What? P.S. VIP GMT underscore zero zero per chance. Buddy, you just asked me to VIP you, but refer to yourself in the third person as if I wouldn't notice that you are the same person that you're asking to VIP. No, I'm not VIPing you. Thank you for the fucking three. Uh, all right. Let's get into the fucking reacts today. 
Um, Sons of the Forest 1.0, JD for the sub. Why did you refer to yourself in the third person? I don't know. Uh, lock in here, chat. Uh, exclusive trailer. You guys asked me to watch this, so we're gonna fucking watch. Give this a little look, you know. There's armadillos. Oh my god, they have raccoons in the game. Alright, chat, we're gonna rerun all of Sons of the Forest for the raccoons. Oh, but they can't give me the option to kill them. Okay, never mind. I don't want to play the game anymore. Never mind. I don't want to play the game anymore. Because if they throw me in there, I'm going to be like, ah. And then there's going to be that impulsive thought that's like, or intrusive thought that's like, kill it. And then I'm, you know, like that's, they, they're going to give you the option to fucking murder it. When did Sons of the Forest come out? We finished that game. I feel like that was over a year ago. I, this was a fire game, though. I remember this series. 2015? That might have been The Forest. Like a year ago exactly today? No. Exactly today? Dude, it came out a year ago exactly today. Holy fuck. We played it a year ago. Shout out for the sub. Wow, that's nuts, dude. That was a while ago. They're just coming out with the full release of the game. I feel like it was a full game. I mean, like, the story was a bit lackluster, but I feel like that's what they're adding. Oh, yeah, this is way different. Of Minecraft Elytra! Holy fuck! Dude, the issue with this game, though, is you can't start, like, a world. I don't know if they changed that, but for the people that don't know Sons of the Forest, every day gets harder and harder. Like, progressively. I don't know if there's a limit, but, like, every day, the monsters get stronger. They There's more of them. You do less damage. They do more damage. Like, it, it, it's it, I, I, you can't build a home in, like, a fucking uh, a civilization. Because at one point, they're just going to scale you. What the fuck is that monster? That literally is just a blob. I'm going to have a genuine take here. They did this way too late. Like, I'm probably not going to play this. I beat the game. Why, why play it again for an Elytra and like a, a bit more story? Like I could understand people that are like mega fans of the game, but it's just like, why, why wait an entire year? I know they maybe had to develop on it, but I'd say just do a late game release then fucking add this into the fucking original game. It's a better game now, dude, but they, it, it's going to be the same shit. They added raccoons. Wow. And an Elytra. Like, it looks way cooler, but it's the same game. Like, I mean, the majority, they're only, the reason it looks so much cooler is because this is a minute of all the new shit, right? All the new, keep, keep that in mind, chat. All the new shit fit in a minute. I mean, there is probably some stuff they didn't show. But keep in mind that if they could jam all the update in this little bit of a fucking recap, then the rest of the game is exactly the same. Ali and Shadow with the sub, JD with the sub. It was a fire game. I'm not bitching on the game. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think that... I don't think it's smart when game dev companies do this. Like, for some games, it makes sense. Like, I'm trying to fucking remember. There's one that just did a fucking full update. And it added a bunch of shit, and it, like, rehyped it. I don't know. Like, Hell Divers could do it. Helldivers, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking right now, like, Helldivers is a game where, right now, the game's out. 
a year from now, if the game starts dying down, they could add 10,000 new things. And it would bring people right back into the game. Because it's not, you start up where you left off and you keep going, right? You don't have to restart and fucking do that shit. Ready or not did it. Ready or not did it, but they did it in a cool way to where it wasn't just missions. They added like an actual, like, not like a plot, but a plot. And so now I play ready or not. Like, Sons of the Forest is like, I'm going to fucking restart and while there's, now, now I can have a pet raccoon. I don't know. Ben for the sub, the turtle for the thousand butters of bitties. What should I get from Ta uh, KFC? Chicken. Lear for the sub. Uh, Jagney for the four. The girl I like follows me on TikTok and is trying to start a streak with me on Snap. Is that good? I guess. Uh, I, I don't know you or her. I would say you got to trust your own intuition on that one, man. Uh, can't really give relationship advice in that sense. I appreciate the 400 bitties, but I like sometimes people ask me questions that I don't have answers to, you know? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not an all-knowing god. I'm 22 years old. <clears throat> I'm a Twitch streamer, right? Not a, not a guru. <laughs> All right, lock in. Next video, Joe Bartolozzi out of context. Uh, never sex. This is Hands up! Hands up! Oh, I can't shoot the kid. Oh, speaking of ready or not. Oh, I should move over because I'm going to be covering myself. Uh, God, kind of a weird react. Got to be on the left side here. Me reacting to me reacting. Oh my god, and he did two damage. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting fucked. That's right. Don't you still shit yourself? Oh my god, I shit myself when I had the stomach virus and I leaned over. <laughs> okay, see now that that there's a there's a 50% chance that one of those sheep just fucked its father. That's true though. That's true, though. In Minecraft, you can infinitely produce new animals off of two animals. Like Adam and Eve. 33%? No, it's one in... It's not 33%. If there's three sheep, and there's two parents and a kid... And the kid does it. Wait. No, it is 33%. No, it is 33%. Because they, the dad could have sex with the mom or the kid. The kid could have sex with the mom or the dad. No, it's one and two. Right? Yeah, it's one and two. It's not 33. It's 33. No, it's 33. It's 33. No, it's one and two. If you have two sheep in Minecraft... Okay, see, now this is going to get pulled out into an out-of-context clip. If you have three sheep in Minecraft, and, and two, they do it, and then there's a kid, and now they're all grown, right? And then you give two random ones wheat. There's a one in two that one of them is the father. No, there's more than a one in two. There's a two-thirds chance that one's the father. There's a one in two chance that it's the father with the kid eesh fire song it's a little iraq from the moon it's not even out of context that's just him saying there's a rock in the moon blow below 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 blow below 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 This honestly might be a fire exit. Well, they're leaving. <laughs> Just run. Oh, he's gonna have to use the bathroom. <laughs> it's just gonna be all jump scares of me. Oh, this is where I draw a deck. And somebody buys it in this game. Yo, you're a fucking dickhead. And so I'm sitting in the back. And How I'm is that even out of context? How is that out of context? I just said you're a dickhead. I'm wearing pajamas. Like Christmas PJs, right? Not like, I don't know if it was Christmas, but I was wearing like, just like pajamas, right? 
and I'm like, I like lean. I pull one of those leans, and I just fucking shit myself. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was that? <laughs> Yo, who the fuck? Mott! Mott! Find them. F you gonna react to the new Aneta cocking me? Oh, it's gonna be me yelling. <laughs> wow, it's that loud? Chad, is it that loud when I scream with my gain all the way up? I never hear it back. And so we embarked on a two hour drive to Los. Oh my god, I gotta blow my nose again. <laughs> oh, this game sucked. Drift, this game was fucking drift. awful. It had no, it had no fucking uh, like no, story, no plot. Why don't we go to Goodwill? No, why don't we, why don't we, why don't we pull up to the old Goodwill and buy some used underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they actually sell that shit at Goodwill though. You can buy used underwear at Goodwill. That shit's crazy, dog. Like, imagine fucking pulling up to... Yo, that, like, I don't I don't understand that. Like, I understand going to Goodwill for other shit. Bro, just buy a pack of underwear. Like, it's honestly... You're not even saving money at Goodwill. I think it's... I don't think they sell, like, regular Hanes underwear at, like, Goodwill or some shit. It's like, they sell that, like, fancy women underwear. But even so, bro... Nah, pulling up to a Goodwill and buying some underwear that others that somebody else wore. Nah, that's nuts. Like that's actually nuts. Like I ain't trying to get a deal on that. What's up, dude? For the fucking ten subs. Thank you for the fucking ten gifted. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking ten subs. My God. Pop it out with the subs early on the stream. What's up, dude? Thank you for the fucking ten gifted. Sakura for the sub, brother for the five. You should try the Mind Haze IPA for your vid. I might have gotten that one. Raider for the five. I'm the guy where the girl cheated on me. I've been so down. I've been drinking a lot recently, seeing no way out. She sent me a video of her and a random guy fucking, and I don't know what to do. Blocker. Blocker. Dude, let me just flash forward 20 years for you. She's going to be divorced, broke, four kids. Hating her life, right? Let's just, let's just flash forward there, right? Don't, don't, like, don't contact her. Don't fucking at all be, like, somebody said to the streets, dude, literally. She sent you a video of her and her new guy doing it? That is crazy. My life's falling apart. I don't think it is. I think you're telling yourself it is, man. Outside, I don't know what else is going on in your life, but I know that you're going through that, and that really does suck, especially when you have an emotional attachment to somebody like that. Outside of that, if everything else is fine, your life isn't falling apart, man. It's your fucking, your fucking ex-girlfriend's being a, a fucking dick. Block her. Tell her to go fuck herself, right? See, can't wait to see you fucking ugly in 20 years. Bye. Block. Check up on you in two decades. See where you're see where you're at. Block. And then you're good. We'll come for the sub. Alfie for the three. Anyway, for me to keep my sub streak, uh, sub streak if I'm on Prime. Uh, yeah, I think you have like three days to run the streak. Delusional for the six. Your streets helped me through depression and suicide attempts. My boyfriend broke up with me today. I have no idea what to do right now. You got to focus on yourself, right? A lot of people ask me for relationship advice. Like, this is the second message today about breaking up. Focus on yourself. Do tasks with yourself, right? Fucking find a new hobby. Don't fucking dwell on it, right? When you dwell on it, when you still have contact with them, it's going to make it worse. I don't know why people fucking do that. Uh, super for the three. Every time you talked about going to Wawa, I always thought you were talking about Walmart. No. Um... What's up? Thank you for the fucking 10 subs. Sophie for the uh, 1,000 bunch of biddies. Watching you while my waiter man broke my building. Hasn't had water since 10 a.m. What? S. Piffy and Rickshaw for the sub. Lear, thank you for the 20 gifteds. 
Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking 20 gifteds. Lear Chad for the sub. Evan for the thousand buddies. Hey, cutie pie, patootie pie, McMuffins, uh, Serpent for the sub. What's up? Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds again. And Gunner for the sub. Thank you guys for the fucking subs. Appreciate the subs, what's up, and Lear. Sorry I didn't read them right when they came through. I was responding to another chatter. Uh, while my waiter man broke my building, a water main. Oh my god, I'm a fucking dumbass. I just read water main as waiter main. Bitch. Watching you while my water main broke. I'm a dumbass. Brother for the 500 biddies. Um, and yeah, man. I mean, I would say stop drinking. Drinking ain't gonna solve your problems, right? Solving your problems is gonna be you solving your fucking problems. If you sit there and you don't block your ex, you're still fucking in contact with her. You're fucking for some reason messaging her. And she's doing all that to you. She's causing you emotional distress. Fucking cut contact with her. Send, send the last message. Say, hey, go fuck yourself. Bye. Block. Out of not, I don't, I'm gonna say out of sight, out of mind, because that's not, that's not a solution to everything. But like, dude, fucking, yeah, you're gonna keep being upset. You're fucking, why are you in contact with her? Raider for the five. Regular and Kickle for the sub. A Rec for the five. Don't know, you don't know how much your streams help me, uh, help keeping me going in this, uh, in life. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I fucking butchered your message, but thank you for the five, man. I appreciate that. All right, lock back in. Why don't we, why don't we go to the Goodwill and buy one shoe? <laughs> Boogie bomb! Dollars. Fucking dud. Yeah, handcuff me. Yeah, tie me down, buddy. Tie me down. Yeah, smoke that cigarette before you fuck me. Oh, God. No! Except Big Milk is a fucking scam and milk isn't actually as good for you as, they, as people say it is. And it's a whole fucking thing. Same with the fucking cheese vault in the United States. The government is, is panning you cheese. They want you to eat cheese. There's too many fucking cows. There's too many fucking cows in the United States. And there's a lot of There is. There's way too many cows in the United States. It's a fucking problem. It's a fucking problem. I bet you, I bet, I bet, ha I bet 90% of you had a fucking glass of 2% milk today. Cut it out! Stop drinking milk. Stop eating cheese. Milk, milk has to stop. Also, I feel bad for the cows, but I still eat steak. I've met cows before. Cows are pretty nice. Not bulls, but most cows are pretty cute. And I feel bad that I eat them. Chickens, on the other hand, they're stupid. And I don't care about them. Because they're also annoying. And they balk. And they just go... And they walk around, bruh. Oh my god, they're dumb as fuck. Chickens are stupid. I don't feel about chickens. A chicken's also too good. I could, I could never stop eating chicken. Especially chicken wings. Oh my god, the flats. Chat, flats or drums? Ugh. Flats or drums? I feel like most people are going to choose flats. Or flats. Yeah, I, I feel like... I feel like most people are going to choose flats. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anybody... Uh, there are people that like drums because they have more meat. But I think that the skin on a flat is better than a drum most of the time. Chat, you know what I found out today? An eggplant's a fruit. So is a cucumber. So is a pepper. Bitch, I bet you ain't know that. You ever eat a cucumber before and you're like, damn, I'm, I'm eating fucking vegetables. Nope. They're a fruit. It has seeds. If it has seeds, it's a fruit. Swear to God. A green bean is like an other vegetable because they can't categorize it. They don't know what to do, dude. You see it? There's those nutritionists up there. Fucking, fucking big bean is sitting there going, damn, man. You know what? I, you think, I bet when you eat peas, you think you're eating vegetables. They're legumes, bitch. They're beans. They're the same thing as beans. Green peas are fucking beans, bitch. I ain't know that. I fucking eat green beans all the or green peas all the time. I thought I was eating fucking vegetables. An avocado is a fucking fruit because it got that fat ass seed in the middle. Another thing, riddle me this, chat. Riddle me this. How the fuck do seedless oranges make new trees? How? 
the peels. What do you mean? What do you mean? So they don't make new seeds? So there's fucking no more... There's no more fucking oranges? Like, what are they gonna do? You ever have a seed or... You ever have a fucking seed in orange? Oh, it's like fucking hell, man. Ugh. Eating an orange with the seeds in it is awful. It's so unenjoyable, dude. Like, they're just so... You can't get a good bite, dude. You can't get a good bite. Also... Also, it is a fucking scam. I gotta bitch about this for a second. Seedless watermelons don't exist! Why are we gonna call that bitch? Uh, somebody said react already. Bitch, I am. Shut the fuck up. Wait, what? I'm timing you out. Sit in the corner. Fuck. Actually, you can't get in YouTube, bitch. I know you ain't doing anything, but I gotta time you out now. Time him out. Sitting in the corner. Anyways. Mm -hmm. He pissed me off earlier. I don't know what he said. I can't remember. But it was something stupid with Sons of the Forest. He said it came out in 2015, which was just wrong. I remember now. And I didn't time him out for it, but I should have. Anyways. Seedless oranges have seeds. And that's a bit false marketing, don't you think? I think it's because they don't have the, the fucking hard seeds. They have the soft, the soft seeds. That don't count. If you tell me it's seedless, uh, it should be fucking seedless. I don't really care, though. I love watermelon, dude. There was a time I ate watermelon. Oh, my God. There was a time I ate so much watermelon in one day that when I shit the next morning, half of my poop was like, was like seeds. Like, swear, bro. Like, just seeds. There was also one day I ate so much fiber that there was like no kins. Okay, now we're getting into TMI. I'm gonna, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get back to the video here. Plebsy for the three. Uh, the channel you're reacting to is consistently stolen out of context videos. They've taken two of my out of context videos directly from my channel and others. Wanted to let you know. Dead ass. Is this your video? Kilometers for the sub Viper and Nate. Nate for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted today. I didn't even see that shit. Nate Jeter. Nora for the five. Why are we on beans? I don't know. I was talking about it today. Fortnite for the thousand bitties. You're the best streamer in the world. Never stop trying uh, to do what you do. Thank you. Floating for the three. For the people in chat who are broken up with, life is an insane opportunity. We are given while most weren't. Don't let somebody ruin that for you. Life is too short to dwell on them. Remember how much your life means. Dub. GMC for the three. Still remember the stream I watched where you were playing Detroit Become Human, but seriously, you've helped me through some tough times, so thank you. W fucking message. And that was a while ago. OMG for the sub. Specs and regular for the sub. That was like two years ago. Kickle for the sub. Eric for the five. All right. Cheese. And there's too much. This guy, dude, this guy comments on all my videos, though. And he, like, says the same thing. 2K sub special. A lot of these weren't out of context. That is facts. Your comments pissed me off. Sad face. If they actually steal content, let me know. I'll block them. Cheese. And they fucking give, they give it away. Because of how much fucking cheese there is. Not that one specifically, but out of context, one on their channel is my video. Yo, don't be stealing. He's going to think this is a bot comment. You don't be stealing other people's content. Can you make your own? Can make your own. But Plebsy said you yoinked that. Comment. Bitch, now I lost the video. Oh, below. Oh, never mind. Where were we? Like here. Continue rambling and then I'll apologize. Fucking broke ass motherfucker. Show me that money spread, Kim. <laughs> Why you ain't fucking fly a private jet? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's me showing you guys my calves. Stop. You're not real. The devil's on his way. 
<laughs> There's not much time. You better run. There's not much time. I, re I remember saying that. Do you hear them? I think this is when a chatter told me he took mushrooms in a bit down hour or some shit. He was like, yo, man, can't wait to watch the stream. Just took like two grams. I was like, oh, that's great, man. And then just like tabbed out to this. Did that for like two minutes. The hellhounds. <laughs> they know what you've done. When are you going to watch the new Madicks Hard documentary? Yes! Uh... <laughs> Yo! Now that is the funniest... This was one of the funniest videos we ever watched, bro. That motherfucker got bronzed up in boxers. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he looks homeless. He <laughs> looks fucking homeless. And that's why he was jerking off a fish or whatever. Um, <laughs> Curly face for the sub, ready for the three. I really love you, and I, uh, every time I tune into a stream, I get really happy. Uh, thank you so much. Can you shit on my chest? Such as house fires. Flooding. Black mold. This game was like actually pretty good though. Metamorphosis. What the? Why is it spicy? That was me trying Japanese snacks. Clip that! Clip that! Oh my god. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both. This game was awful. Drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna. Oh my god! And he's like a school shooter. Act. I thought you hated that class too. I'm warming up to it. But Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut, Shut your bitch ass up, Jeffrey! You fucking loser! Go play Crash Bandicoot on the PS2, you fucking bitch! Shut the. I'd be serving fucking. Fucking three oh life sentences. Oh my god, the minion drunk car accident. It's here, uh, driving while intoxicated and three counts of manslaughter. So, uh, not a not a not a great standpoint, but there it is. Shit's not getting away. That's a Ram fifteen hundred, brother. Oops. <laughs> no, not that. Oops, sorry. Honest mistake. Honest mistake, sir. Uh, my apologies. My apologies, sir. I did not know that was a Ram 1500. I thought it was a Ford F-150. My apologies. My apologies. Dude, the amount of shit I get whenever I do, like, a TikTok or a fucking stream or some shit, and I mention a car, and I get something wrong, dude, they'll be like, uh, well, actually, that's a fucking, that's a lifted F-250 with dual V8 engines in the back. Probably a 6x6, six six if I had to guess. I'm going to say they're probably rolling coal in a double-edged muffler, fucking uh, tiddly wink. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, dude. I don't know cars like that. I don't even remember what rank I was. Is it illegal to run a pyramid scheme? Uh, not if you convince the IRS that it's not a pyramid scheme. So, if it's, like, just such a good pyramid scheme, you get them in on it. Are pyramid schemes illegal? I don't know if pyramid schemes are illegal. It, it, yo, chat, do you guys want to invest uh, a, fi a very large financial sum of money in return to being able to start selling other plans to people below you? If you give me $1,000, then you can sell the program for $1,000, and you'll get 10% of the cut. So all you have to do is sell $10,000 $10, packages, and then you make your money back. And then you could start making mad money, right? On it. Then you'll be fine. Hey, I'm not fine for my life over here, John. Or you consumer are. protection program, but there's like a thousand consumer. There's a thousand fucking pyramid schemes I could name like right now, that sell like fucking skin products or fucking stupid shit, fish pills. Uh, I'm just kind of vibing. You know, I see a guy here. Indian gingerbread house, and I have a winter castle. 
All right. So not only are we doing... That's a Ponzi scheme? That's not a Ponzi scheme. Isn't a Ponzi scheme when you take people's money and and then use that money to give other people interest on their money? And so it's kind of like an infinite loop of being in debt, but also stealing money. Different That's what Sam Bankman Freed did. But, to spice it up for you guys this year. And, uh, isn't that what the fucking Wolf of Wall Street did, too? Now, Timothy Chalamet will be here to help, and we have some more world premieres, <gasps> including this one. Oh! Uh! Oh, Tim Timothy Chalamet. What? Nah, oh, no, come on. The mask. I just <laughs> fucking spilled water everywhere. Oh my god. Movie too. Ooh. Ooh. That guy is really attractive. That guy is very attractive. Is he from Shang Chi? Uh, Shang Chi too. Barbie movie. I don't know his name. Ooh. Ooh. They're like God's not real. Made up for their own kind. That just randomly ends. All right. Well, next video here, chat. Uh, specs for the five. You should wear the cowboy hat along with the glasses during Ready or Not. I, how would I hear anything? I want to be able to wear my headset. I could put the cowboy hat maybe over the headset. It wouldn't fit, though. Plebsy for the three. Um, the description of the vid links to the channel I run to. The description of the vid links to the channel I run to. Quoto for the three. I want to say love your content. I've been really into philosophy after watching your philosophy streams. Keep doing, doing what you're doing. The world meet, uh, needs more people like you. Thank you. We're actually doing another philosophy stream soon. Uh, probably in like a week and a half or two. I don't know definitively the date, but um, it will be soon-ish, uh, I could say. Like a week and a half, maybe two weeks, uh, we'll do another one. All right. Um, lock back in here, chat. Oh. Somebody redeemed Flex. Ross for the sub. Micah for the sub. Um, You're for the sub. Soggy for the three. Play Scanner Sombre. If you have any games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, Xbox, my Discord, mods, play the Discord link. Uh, I have a video suggestion tab and a game suggestion tab. You can set videos for me to react to games you play and a video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch and games that I play. So I very much appreciate your suggestions, even if you're in the Discord. You can send videos there uh, and games for me to play there as well. Plumsy for the three. Um, Specs for the five. And it's not some bullshit like, oh, I'm just telling you to go do that so I don't have to fucking listen to your suggestion. It's like genuinely how I find most of the videos that I watch and games that I play. <laughs> the guy replied to my comment. He's probably in my stream right now. What the fuck is his username? Clip that! Clip that! Damn. Did he actually reply to it? He did. No way, yeah. This was the beginning of my channel. I later learned I should just make my own edits. I apologize for that. All right, next video. Officer's amazing. Oh, I got to move my face cam over. That would be annoying if I was doing this on the left side. Lock in here, chat. Might pop this other mini shield real quick. Somebody said cap. No, nah, I mean, uh, dude, honestly, a lot of people just don't know. <laughs> like, like, it seems stupid, but like, there were, there have been multiple accounts that have like tried reposting my content without my permission. And had, like, genuinely no idea that you're not allowed to do that. But, I mean, I'd copyright them. I've never, I've never really caught, I've only copyright taken down one channel. I didn't take down their channel, I took down two of their videos. Because I asked them formally in an email to stop twice, and they said they would, and then they kept doing it. Uh, and then I was like, bro, like, I'm gonna fucking copyright strike you. And he was like, no, please don't. I'll stop. And then he did it again. And then I was like, bro, third time's a fucking charm, buddy. Bonk. And then fucking removed his video. Have you ever done hash? The fuck is hash? Hash. Oh, like resin? Oh, it's made from resin. No. 
Suppress into small blocks and smoked. No. It's not weed. It's it's so much better. Oh, you kick in's back. Time him out again? No. Path over the sub mark for the sub soggy for the three. Love uh the sheep's keep it up, specs for the five. Why do you let Everest post yours then? Why not why why them and not others? Uh, because there were people that were trying to edit and format my content to the point where it looked like they were um like trying to make money off of my content, which they were, whereas Everest never monetized their channel and they enabled me to copyright all of their all of my VODs, right? Um Everest might have made some money. I don't know exactly, but um like Everest videos got copyrighted by the music that I would play that was copyrighted and my copyright. Um so they just uploaded them because I wanted you guys to be able to watch VODs on my channel and they wanted to do it, so I allowed them to. But now I have my own VOD channel, so I don't have Everest do it. Somebody said React already? Yep, we'll see you never, Est Estefan. But he just said, bro, React already. I stopped reacting for fucking two minutes, and this guy has a fucking panic attack. Relax, man. So extra for the subconcrete for the fucking 1500 biddies. What does the mini shield do? Um, This one's the newer version, so this one's more lax. I don't know. I always, I always think it just makes me more talkative. Whereas the other one makes me feel like I hit my cart and put two zins in my mouth. That one's, like, really strong. This one's more manageable, though. Lock in. Uh, officers, what's the VOD channel? Mods, pin the VOD link. Uh, we pin the Discord for long enough. Officers amazingly keep straight faces during this arrest. Lock the fuck in. Lock the fuck in. February 3rd, 2022, an officer conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that had been speeding. It would soon be apparent that the driver was extremely intoxicated. Be South Cole, Placida. South Cole, Placida be pulling to Merchant's Crossing. Send me another unit, please. This is where when the officer pulls you over, you say, hey, officer, I'm a bit nervous. And then you pull out a bottle of whiskey and chug it. And then, and then now the officer can't say you were driving while intoxicated because now you're intoxicated post driving. Hi. Think smarter, not harder, chat. <clears throat> hey, how are you? Turn the car off. Yeah, absolutely. Stop digging around. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Where are you coming from tonight? Englewood Beach. Englewood Beach. Do you know yep. the speed limit? That is smart. No, that's not. It will. It will not work. It, it will not work. I saw a video of a guy doing whippets uh, after he got in a car crash. I don't know where I saw that. It might have been TikTok or Twitter. I saw somebody die on Twitter again today. Dude, it's like every fucking day, man. I saw him fall to his death. It was from, it was some, it was some kid that, it was like two years ago, and he was on a fucking, uh, you know one of those, you know one of those things where it's an amusement park and it goes up and then it, sh it shoots you back down? It's, I don't know what it's called. It's like a rocket something, and you go up, and then you fucking go back down. He was a bigger guy, and they had to manually adjust the harness for him, and they fucked it up because it's like a minimum wage fucking teenager that's probably fucking harnessing you for some fucking reason, and it falls, and like, dude, he just falls to his death. Like, literally, and he was like 14. What's whippets? Oh, uh, air, compressed air. Like CO2 or NOS. I don't know what it is, but it's like people that do whippet, it, like whippets is like the biggest degenerative shit ever. It's like basically cutting oxygen to your brain so you feel high, uh, and then people die from it. Slim and so extra for the sub. Goo off for the three. I watched the new Papa Meat video. You need to, too. A lot of people sent that in. Which one are you talking about? The newest one? We could maybe sub that in for something else today. I would be down. Hold up. What is the new Papa Meat video? Oh, the worst fan base on the internet? Kind of, Oh, this you know. was the video that literally started auto-playing that I fucking skimmed through. What is this even about? What is it even about? Let me know what it's about, and then I might add it. Otherwise, we're going to keep the fucking game show one in. Um, homeless for the sub. Uh, soggy for the three. Patho, Mark for the sub. Specs for the five. All right. Lock back in. 
read the title. It says worst fan base on the internet, but it doesn't actually. If you skim the video, it's just him talking. Olive for the sub. Coming off Angwood Beach? 35. 35. How fast do you think you were coming over the, bit, the bridge? I would assume 40. 55 on a radar. On a calibrated really? radar. And then I had to punch it to catch up. Really? That's weird. Are you sure it's not faulty? On my old speedometer, it told me I was going 40. Up to you here because you gunned it. Sure, sure. Give me your license, your registration, your proof of insurance. Okay. Uh, so I just moved here uh, four months ago. Four months ago? We're from. Oh, God, he's so obviously drunk, though. The way he's talking. I think you don't notice it. When you're that drunk, you don't notice that, like, you sound different to the average person. Olive for the sub. Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Somebody redeemed flex. I'm not doing any more flexes today. We've already done, like, four in half an hour. I know, bold, right? Cool, man. So I didn't, I didn't get my license registered yet. How long you been here, bro? About, about five and a half months. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna give you a hard time over that, but technically, in the state of Florida, you have 30 days to get it. Yeah. Day. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Here. Okay. So we'll work with you. Okay. So here's my uh, license. The Florida. Oh, so you do have a Florida driver's license. You just have a registered. Yes, sir. You yes, have a registered sir. vehicle. So I, I bought my, I bought this entire car. <laughs> oh no. It is so obvious, dude. It's like fucking hell. Oh. Two months before I moved here. Dude, I don't know what it is with these videos, but I like root for them to conceal it better. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it's like we've watched so many of these that I'm like, I'm like rooting that they don't act as drunk as they are. Got it. So I didn't get my, I didn't get my plates oh, yet. Oh God, like okay. the way he's, it's just like he's talking like a guy I would speak to at a bar that I'm just like, oh, this guy's blackout, dude. And, uh, That's a credit card. I don't need that. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. So uh, registration. What is that? The... Basically, when you register the car in Wisconsin, yes. they give you some paper. So I don't have that. I got pulled over like a week and a half ago because I just moved here and I didn't have the. Uh... He just said he moved here five months ago. Registration yet. Okay. Because I just moved here a month and a half before I bought the car. Okay, got it. Do you have your insurance? Could you pull that up on the I phone? I do. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if it's easier for you, you can pull it up on the phone. Where did I put my phone? <laughs> Where is your phone? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, I have the paperwork. Okay. Step out of the vehicle for me, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you guys, no. You may be nervous. I lost my to, phone. Nothing to be nervous about, man. It's, probably, it's still in the car, okay? Can I turn my car off? Yeah, please. No, it's already off. You already turned it off. <laughs> that's where I hit. That's where you hit that bitch back on. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, let me turn it off. Remember, I asked you to turn it off. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll come right back here, okay? No, you're good. Come on, right back here. <laughs> I'm not worried about your speed, okay? Yep. Speed. Yes, sir. You could get a warning for the speed. That's yes, not, sir. Not a big deal, okay? How much have you had to drink tonight? Six drinks. Uh, six drinks. Six drinks. Okay. But like, but like, since like, how long? Eight, over how long? Eight p.m. Eight o'clock. Okay. It's been a what while. time is it? What time is it? God, it's military time chat. It's nine forty. He had six drinks in an hour and forty minutes. I only started drinking at eight. Wow. It's been a while. Okay. I met a girl on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you. Here's the deal, okay? Yeah. Wow, you... that guy literally looks like Paul Blart. Here's the deal, okay? Yeah. I'm going to give you a warning for the speed. I'm not worried about your speed, okay? Yeah. I yes, want to make sure you're able to get in your car and drive home from this place. Yes, sir. Okay? And why, the way that we do that is through standardized field sobriety tests. Yes, sir. And that shows I've, you... I've done two. You've done two? I've done two. I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> Okay, I got you. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve tonight. Okay, I'm I want to from make... Wisconsin. What the fuck does that mean? I'm sure, you're able to get in your car and get. In, and drive. Does Wisconsin have the most? What state? Chat. Let's do our guesses here. What state has the most drunk drivers? Let's do our guesses. I think the least would be like a southern state. Actually, I think a northern state. Ooh. We're in fatalities. Wyoming has the worst drunk driving problems. 
and has more fatalities than any other state per 100,000 people. But I also think the sample size is, like, smaller because Wyoming's also fucking, like, no one lives there. North Dakota has the most DUIs trailed by South Dakota and Wyoming. You know why? You know why, and I guarantee you. Because no one lives there, and drunk people don't think it's a problem. Because what, who are you going to hit? You know what I mean? Like, if you live in Wyoming, and there's four people per square mile, they're like, ah, I could drive home. You know, like, no one's on the road. No one's on the road. Who fuck, like, so, they, so they're probably more confident in, in getting home than, like, somebody in a fucking packed city, like, having to fucking drive home. The three least dangerous states with the fewest drunk drivers are District of Columbia, which is D.C., New York, and Pennsylvania. Wyoming, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, and Maine have the most. They had 550 DUI arrests per 100,000 people in Wyoming. North Dakota had 633. I want to know what the least is. Least is West Virginia, Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, Oklahoma, Wow. Nebraska. I'm home from this place. Yes, okay? sir. So you're on board with that? Yes, sir. Okay, give me a second. I got to get some PA stuff. for the dub. I, dude, I really think it, it is in relation to the, P, the states that had the most DUIs also have the least people. I'll be right back with Can you. Can I take my hoodie off? Stand right here for me. Do it yeah. Put some sir. respect on Delaware. Right here. Don't even hear you, man. It's cold out, buddy. What? You're the first person that's ever said that. It's cold out, man. No, I know. I know. I'll hear the valley seal. Negative one. Sure, go ahead. Thank you. That far, thank you. Everyone from Mormon, where? Oh, Utah? How is Utah not on there? Everybody's Mormon? Nonsense. Not everyone's fucking Mormon in Utah. I guarantee you there's less Mormon people than you think. What percentage of Utah is Mormon? It's probably like 20%. 66. Wow. 66% of people that live in Utah are Mormon? That is nuts. That's like such a high percentage. What percentage, like, let's compare it to New Jersey. Of New Jersey is Mormon. It's probably like 1%. One. 1% 1 of New Jersey is Mormon. Anywhere near a big city? Yeah. What? Anywhere near a big city? No. Uh, Rhinelander? Who counts Sorry. that? I don't know. How do they determine that? Are they just going up to random people? Are you Mormon? No. Are you Mormon? Yeah. They just pull like a thousand people and then they're like, okay, we have a, we have, we have the statistics. No, it's a survey. The census? I don't know if the census was. Does the census document your religious denomination or something? I live like an hour and twenty minutes from uh, the Canadian. They board. just get Mr. Beast to drop a poll. Mr. Beast does a fucking IG poll. Who here's Mormon? Yes or no? Oh, so you're kind of way up there, aren't you? Yeah. So do you live down here <laughs> part time? Or are you just now for vacation? I, I moved here uh, four or five months ago. Yeah. Chat. I'm not actually asking who here's Mormon. I'm going to, I would say that I have a very low Mormon audience just based off the kind, I don't think I make very religious friendly content. Like I bet most of the people here probably ascribe under some, st some specific religion, but I like very, I, like I doubt that Mormons are tuning into the BART stream often at least. Are you Mormon? Yes or no? My chat's going to lie, dude. My chat's going to lie. Like, I know there's going to be, like, 150 people that are like, yeah. And I just know that's cap. But I, I, but I, I grew up in uh, Fort Lauderdale. So you went from Fort Lauderdale to Wisconsin back over Yeah, my mom moved me to Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, Dude, he almost just fell over. 20, like 2017 and a half, whatever. And uh, I moved to South Carolina in 2016. 
and I hated it, so I moved back to Wisconsin and. Oh my God, dude! They just having conversations and shit. Out of ease. What the fuck is this? Is this a little cheat sheet guide for the cop? Couple questions. Yeah, we're well, a couple questions for you for for yes, sir. Right there, Okay. Are you sick or injured right now? My what? Are you sick or injured right now? No, sir. All right. Um, if you. So got his out. hands behind his back like he's in the military. Right here for me. We're gonna stay right here in the center, okay? Bro's in police sim, dude. Literally. It's me. For this first one, we're gonna stand, feet together, arms on our side. Just relax. We're not rigid. We're not at attention, right? At my, at my hips, right? Yeah, just right here. Just, just kind of stand like that. You're doing just fine, okay? Can you see? What, what was that? Somebody. <laughs> Got the box or close the door or something. You okay? Checks out. Yeah, yeah. I just. I got you. I heard it too. I know I heard it. Easy. Do me a favor. Yeah, just like that. Arms on your side. Can you see the red tip? Of my Bro, head? they gotta know that he ain't gonna pass that. Like they gotta know. It, uh, you ever think there's scenarios where the cops are rooting for him, where they're like, yeah, he's gonna pass it. Where they they know he's like a little buzzed, but they're like, okay, yeah, he's gonna pass this test. Like, the way he's talking, I feel like even if he aced these tests, they would still be like, no, we have to give you a fucking breathalyzer. <laughs> like, surely. What if you're clumsy? Make sure to tell the cop that. Make sure to tell the cop. When you get pulled over and they're like, we're going to give you a DUI test, be like, officer, my friends, my I was voted most clumsy in my class. Sorry, my friend. Does anybody ever pass these tests? Yeah, all the time. You just don't see them because then they just drive away. You're right here. Yes, sir, I can. You're gonna follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay, it's gonna start going back or side to side. We're just gonna follow with our eyes. Yes, oh shit, an acorn! Oh shit, an acorn! Boom, 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 boom! Just lays into this guy's fucking Nissan Altima. Just fucking shreds it to pieces. <laughs> He's got somebody in the back. Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Right. You see how it started moving? We're gonna Center. follow it. We're gonna follow it with our eyes and our eyes only, okay? Yes, sir. Dude, he's almost falling. Center. Over. Right. You see how it's moving? <laughs> Look how is this guy not laughing in the back, bro? He's he's doing fucking video game shouts. Right. Two seventy east. Moving? Yes, sir, I am. Follow with your right, eyes. Right, center, right. Mm -hmm. see, how center. see how it's moving left and right? I'm listening, sir, right. Do you understand? Center, down. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir, why? When it moves side to side, you're going to follow with your eyes without moving your head. Do you understand? You're going to follow with my eyes, yes, sir. Without moving your head. Yes, sir. So when it goes back and forth, left to right, right, I'll follow with my eyes, not my head, yes, sir. Okay. Following. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Down. You look straight at me. Is there a reason why you're doing that? Do you not want to participate in this? I look straight at you. You're looking straight at me. Without I did following. not. I follow. I followed the. You did not. Incorrect. You didn't. After you yelled at me, I followed it to the right. I didn't yell at you. I haven't yelled at you yet. I'm. I didn't say. I, so okay, we're gonna start again. Okay. Okay. Follow Feet me. Feet together. Arm on our side. Yes, Can you sir. You see the red tip of my pen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh my sir. God, is that why they do this test? I've never seen, I've seen, like, when we've watched videos, I've seen drunk people, like, be really, like, slow. But I've never seen somebody just not move their eyes. Like, he just went, center, right, down, left, center. <laughs> like, just, re I, I, I think he's not understanding the directions. Sir, it's, it's going to start moving left and right. We're just going to follow. Now that eyes. I mentioned it, it's probably going to go to the left first, but then it's going to go to the right. And I'm going to follow it. With your eyes. Yes, sir. You're going to move your eyes. You, you want my hands back here? Whatever's more comfortable for you. Oh, my yes. God. He is fucking hammered, dude. There's no way he had six drinks. Yes, sir. Relax. Yes, sir. Like, I was going to say six drinks from 8 to 940. Yeah, you're going to get a DUI, but you're not going to be this drunk. Okay. Oh. I'm relaxed. Okay. Yes, We're sir. Gonna follow through eyes and eyes only, okay? Yes, sir. I see the light to my left. I'm going to follow the red to my right. Yes, sir. Red center, red left. Red back to the center, red uh, white left. Oh, my God. I've seen a TikTok clip of this. <gasps>
then he does the shouts. Red to the left. Lo- right. See how we're still moving our head? I want you to keep yes. it still and follow with your yes, eyes. Yes, sir. I'm following my, my, my eyes. No, no head. Right. Red to the left. Yeah, see how it stayed to the left? I want you to keep following it, but I'm moving your eyes. My eyes there are still go. to the right. I think you meant right. But... They do this for entertainment. They surely do this for entertainment. At this point, it's been two minutes of him not doing it right. And this guy's just pleading for this guy to figure it out. Like, they have to. They have to keep trying this. What, so he could plead, oh, I didn't understand the directions or something? Okay. So Bro, he just had his... He moved his finger this way, and this guy's eyes were over there. So see, how, right. see, see how it moved? We want it to keep following the red you light. You want me to follow the red light? I'm following. Ready? Right. Right to the red and center and left. <laughs> I still see the red <laughs> and the white to the left. And we're going back, center, and to the right, red. White is still to the left, red to the right. Red to the fucking middle, red to the left with the white. There's a fun the white. What is he saying? Or the red, red to the left. Red is going towards the right, to the far right, but he stopped mid. Red is back to the white. To the white? Red is going towards the left, to the white, <laughs> but not 100%. <laughs> I'm still looking at the eyes. Red Dude, he's is actually calming. He's actually calming the fucking light. Red is middle. Red is middle. Red is going towards the white. I got him. I hit him 60 shield. The white. He's not, white. He's white. He's following with our eyes anymore, sir. We're going to move on, okay? <laughs> Fuck you mean we're not following to the right? What am I? Following with my fucking balls? <laughs> <laughs> I know, buddy. I know, pay attention to him. Okay. Yes, sir. Or this next one, see that next line right here? Yes, sir. Okay. It's called the walk and turn, okay? Yep. Are you oh, comfortable with no. your- What do you mean, what do you want me to follow with my balls? What do you want me to- What do you want me to get on the ground and scoot on the asphalt like I'm a fucking dog with worms? Tell me what to do, officer! Shoes, I see you're wearing moccasins. Uh, I mean, they're not the best, but if it'll you'd like do. To take, if you'd like to take them off, go right ahead. Okay? It's up to you. It's a nice clean parking lot. I don't see any rocks. I don't see any glass. I don't see anything that would be a yeah. hazard. So if you'd like to take them off, go right ahead. Man, Dude, how did he dr- He parked that car perfectly, I might add. That is shocking. Like, how? how is he driving? Like, I don't know. Okay, so would you rather do it with your moccasins? He didn't get pulled over either for reckless driving. He got pulled over for speeding. Oh, shit. I think I'll do, I think I'll do without. You can take them off. Go right ahead. I want to make sure you're comfortable with this. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll do without. Okay. I right. think he's having fun right now. So, this is our line. We're going to use this, okay? When I instruct you to begin, we're going to keep our arms on our side, too. We're not going to be we're not airplane, okay? So... When I instruct you to begin, you need to take nine heel-to-toe steps along that line. I guarantee you he opens his fucking arms up. You take nine heel-to-toe steps back in the direction you came from. When you are ready, go ahead. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, my God. Seven. Okay, now I'm actually thinking back to the person that said you could just say you're clumsy. The whole point of this, even if you're clumsy and you fuck this up, you'll still pass the breathalyzer, so they won't give you a DUI. They'll just be like, oh, you were clumsy, right? Because, like, you could theoretically be really bad at this, but, I mean, this guy's just drunk. Eight. Nine. What the fuck is he possibly writing down? Dude's got a stat sheet going. Ten. Eleven. Right there, you're on officer. I love instruction. One. Oh my god. <laughs> Six. 
Oh, he's smiling. Oh my god. Are you done? Not yet. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Eight. Dude, why is he getting worse at it? Nine. Dude, fine. Stay in there for me, okay? Like this? You want to put your shoes on? Go right ahead. They're right there. What do you mean? You can put your shoes back on. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. I, I thought you were done. Excuse me. No. No, sir. I'm not done. I think he thinks in his head right now that if he just does the 10 steps, he doesn't get a DUI. Based on his response, I think it's like, I think he's thinking if I just do this, I, they have to let me go. What do you want from me? I'm not done. What did I, just, what did I instruct? Yeah, I think and he thinks he's passing. You asked me two steps ago if I was done. How many steps did I instruct you to take? You told me to go back and forth. I didn't tell you I was done. <laughs> you, you really didn't. You didn't ask me if I was done. You didn't. I'm not done yet. You let me know when you're done. Okay. My, my, foot, my feet are there, right? Well, the end of the line's there. Okay. I would just sleep in my car, man. Like, I, I, it, this is like getting to the point where it's like, I could see how you could be buzzed and think you're fine. But, like, this guy, like, has to know he's fucking hammered. It's illegal to sleep in your car? No, it's not. If you, if you are hammered, you will not get in trouble if you sleep in your car. Even, even if there is, like, some law where, like, they don't want you to park there, it, if a cop pulls up and you were like, I'm drunk, they'll let you sleep in your car. I I am one hundred percent certain and certain in that. I don't know what fucking state laws are are differing, but like, yeah, if you're sleeping on the side of the road, that's different. But if you're just like in a parking lot of a bar and you get hammered, I've gone to bars a million times and I've Ubered home, or I or I've had friends that have gone with me and slept at the bar in the parking lot in their car until like seven a.m. and then drove home. Like, that's not, have you ever, I know, I've never done that. I've, if, if I'm going and I know I'm going to get drunk, I'll just Uber or I'll get somebody to drive me. That's like a DD. Fuck sleeping in my car. I've slept in my car before, uh, but that was just because there was no room on like a couch, but that's different. Brock for the sub, Joe's for the three. AJ, official, Cletus, Max for the sub, little peck for the three. There ain't any Ubers in Wyoming. Yeah, sleep in your car. Official for the sub, Lord, Specs for the sub, Goo out for the three. Uh, it's about anime fandoms, Max for the three. I want to let you know that the uh, Joe out of context number four, number five, six was himself, but the first three he copied. Olive's homeless for the sub, go out for the three. All right. AJ for the sub. New room on your couch? No, not my couch. I'm in college. I go, I have gone to fraternity parties. When I go, we go with a group of people, and there's only one person that has, like, a place that can hold, like, five people, but ten go. And I've gotten back, and there's been five people on the couch, and so I'll just go sleep in my car. Depends. I thought you dropped out. When the fuck did you ever think I dropped out? I have never once said that I've dropped out of college. How old are you? I just turned 22. Oh, come back to the back of the car. Why don't you put your striped shoes? God fucking damn it, man. His and AJ for the sub. Dude. If the keys are in the ignition, that's different. But if you're, like, sleeping in the back of your... If you're sleeping in the back seat of your car, they're not, like, they're not going to be like, oh, you're driving. I'm a white male. I'm fucking a software developer. I'm a what white male. I'm a sophomore. I'm a white male. You got to let me off, right? You got to let me off. It's that simple. Stars for the sub. His Watson for the sub. What do you want from me, man? I broke with my goddamn girlfriend. Sorry to hear that. I know. So am I. What do you want from me? Are you fine? You can put your hands down. Relax. We're still just talking. Come here. Come over here, man. Oh, he knows he's going to get a DUI. Right here. Okay. Um, for this next one, it's called the one leg stand. Would you like to try it? Sir? The one leg stand. Would you yeah, like to try it? Yeah, I've done it all. Trust me, I'm from Wisconsin. Okay. What the fuck does that have to do with it? I feel like he's insinuating that he's drunk driven before. You want to get rid of these shoes? Would you like to do a barefoot? It's up I, would, I would like to do a barefoot. Kick them off right there. Right here. God damn, man. 
Ah, it's so it's so salty and cold. What do you want? Okay, so we're staying right here. Okay, when I instructed begin, you're gonna lift one foot. You're choosing. It doesn't matter which one. Yes, sir. approximately six inches off the ground. Yes, sir. You're gonna, count, you you're gonna count out loud. I want to try this. Okay, that's like really easy. Imagine I did that shit. I'm like, all right, chat, let me try it. Just face plant, just right into my setup. 1,001, 1,002. Until you, yes, sir. Until, I, uh, until you tell me to stop. Yes, it'll be roughly 30 seconds, okay? Yes, sir. You have any questions for me? No, sir. When you are ready, go ahead and begin. Which foot, sir? It's up to you. Oh, do you think he's going to fall? How good do we think he does? I think he's going to have a 3 out of 10 performance here. I think a 10 is he doesn't waver at all. Kind of what I did, right? 9 or a 10, what I did. I think... I think that he is going to do like a like a bunch of steps. Like he keeps putting his foot down. Choose, you choose the foot. You think he does a five out of ten? Five out of ten's not bad. That could be like something that's just like really clumsy. Oh god. One thousand. One thousand one. He's 1, 000, putting his foot too high up. One thousand two. One thousand three. One thousand. So straight out our leg and pointed out towards the horizon like a short gun. One thousand five. One thousand six. One thousand seven. Well, do you want to restart? 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, which is 10 seconds, maybe? 11. Ooh. 11, 11,001, 11,000, fucking 14, eh? 12, <laughs> what? 13,000. You can stop. For this next one, we're going to stay in the same way, okay? We're going to feet together, arms on our side, okay? You're going to make two pointer freaking for me, right here, okay? Bring it back down to your side, okay? When I instruct you to, you're going to close your eyes and tilt your head back, okay? For now, you don't have to do it. Just watch me, okay? Okay. So you're going to close your eyes and tilt your head back, okay? I'm watching. Okay? When I say left, you take the left tippy tip of your finger and touch the tip of your nose, just like that. Yes, sir. When I say left. Left finger, left nose. When I say right, you take the right tippy tip of your finger and touch the tip of your nose, just like that, okay? Right. Left, yep. Now, yes, when sir. I say tip of your finger to tip of your nose, I mean the very tip of your finger. Not yes, the sir. head, not the side, not the nail, nothing like that. Yes, sir. Tip to tip, just like that, okay? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Okay, so when you were ready... His left nose, you're free to go. You imagine if this just ends up with... Yeah, I think you're good. Close your eyes and tilt your head back, okay? Just I feel like, like he's going to fucking right? fall on his head, dude. Get a left. concussion or some shit. Left, left arm, left nose. You can put your hand down. Yes. Each time when I call yes, the instruction, you just bring your hand down. I'm not going to tell you, okay? Yes, sir. Right. Right. Right arm. Right nose. Yeah, no, I, I don't think, I don't even think being drunk you could fuck this up. I feel like this is really easy. Oh, yo, that's why they ask you this shit. Because if you're dyslexic, you could, like, fuck this up. Or is that what, I don't know if it's dyslexia necessarily, but, like, I have friends that don't know. Like, I told my friend to go right one time, and he turned left. Like, there's people that don't, like, if you say right, they don't know what you mean. You bring your hand down. Yes, sir. Down. Bottom Le right. Left. Left. Left arm. Left nose. My left nose you is... Can bring a, you can bring your hand down. Yes, sir. Down. Left arm, left nose. Both arms are down. Right. Right arm right here. Up. Itchy. Somebody said American people. Dog, I would, if they had body cam videos from, like, Dublin, Ireland, I would love to watch that. Actually, I don't know. Do they not get DUIs in the UK because pubs are probably, like, close? On my nose. What are you pulling me over for, mate? Oh, you think I'm inebriated? Oh, I'm not allowed to have seven points of Guinness. Put your hand down. Yes. 
Right arm going down. Both arms are down. Right. Right arm. Somebody said, Oi, I fucking told you. I told you they'd pull us over, Rick. Going up. Right here. AT again. Right point of finger on my on my nose. Oh my god. You can bring your hand up. Yes, sir. And left. Ireland eight in the UK. Bitch. I said Ireland and then I said the UK. Left. Right here. On my nose. Not letting go until you tell me to. That wasn't the instruction. I told you you could bring your hand down each time. Sir? The United Kingdom is England, Wales, Scotland, right? No? Yeah? No? Northern Ireland. Fuck! Down. You said you had about six drinks tonight? Yeah. Uh, a little less, actually. Less? Okay. Do you feel comfortable? Like you were able to operate a motor vehicle? Yes, sir. No I'm, problems. I, I'm, not, I'm not more than a half a mile from home. Right now, you feel comfortable enough to just get your car Yes, sir. More than, more than comfortable. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, we got one more to do, okay? For this yes, one, sir. we're going to just like that. We're going to bring our hands to the center of our back. Hands around your back. Where do you got want it. me to face? There you go. That Put way. your hands together. Yes, sir. You'll be placed on the rest tonight for DUI. Don't be, don't be so aggressive. Appreciate your cooperation. Doing just fine. Really? I'm, ag I I'm arrested? Yeah, you got a DUI tonight. Really? Yeah, for real. Good one, See, too. I said, I said you thought he was when he was doing the line test. I think he thought that if he just did it, he'd get out, he'd get to go home. You had entirely too much tonight. <laughs> really? Yeah, dangerous. <laughs> okay, what do you have in your car that needs to go through the jail? You have a phone and a wallet. Yeah, I got a phone and a wallet. Okay. Yeah. Is there, is there anything else you want in there to go with you? No. Okay. We'll can grab, I, can, we'll grab can, it for can you. I help you through my we'll grab, car? We'll grab issues on that. Okay. Come on, we're gonna go to the car. We're gonna can, go around back. And fuck can I help you guys through my car? No, we're gonna go through it for you. Do you have anything in there that we what didn't know about? Why are you gonna go through my car? No, don't start. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Stand hey. up. Stand up on your feet. No, hey. listen. I got. Oh. Do not do this. Stand up. Be a gentleman. We're going no. To, we're going to that car right hey, here. Hey, listen. I reserve. Hey, stop. Hey, Whoa. hey. Whoa. Can I Whoa. Hey. Not do that again. Hey, can I regret? You planted your foot in a car and you ran into me. Bro, not do that I again. love them. That's your. I really don't want him to get aggressive, man. I love police. Do you have, do you have anything okay, I need that. No, nothing. Yeah. I just. Stay. Hey, listen. Your car's gonna get towed, and we're gonna inventory it for a good seat. Towed. Listen, okay. Can Sorry. I talk to you guys for ten yeah, minutes? I'll talk to you. Yeah, talk not to you. even. Take a seat. Five minutes. Listen. Holy Slip back in the car. Fuck, these are serious. Slide backwards. Guys, listen. Okay, what do you want to talk about? All right, let me get some growth. Yeah. Serious? Hey! <laughs> what do you want to talk about? I'm talking to you, too. Wow, he's, like, actually astonished. Ooh. You're talking to me. No, I'm in charge for real. Here. I'm in charge. Here. I backed the blue. Okay, I appreciate that. I really that. do. That doesn't mean you can drink and drive. No, that's absolute. Why would you back the fuck away from me? What's that? Because he's going to get gloves. we got, we got work we got to do here. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Relax. You need anything right now? Right this second? Do you need an address for my car? Uh, it'll get towed to the yard. We'll get, I'll let you know where it's going. What the fuck do you mean to the yard? To the tow yard. Mm. Impound lot. Oh, I gotta pay. We're gonna drop it in the Hudson River. We're gonna, we're gonna ship it, we're gonna ship it to the fucking northeast. We're gonna drop it in the Hudson. That's what we're gonna do. We're not actually gonna fucking bring it. No, you don't get your car back. Right? You'll get released. We just, we just throw your car into the ocean. Pay. Well, I'm not sure we gotta pay. You gotta pay. Yeah, I'll take care. Hey. I love them. Hey, hey. Where's we, yeah, we actually, somebody said the Yellowstone volcano. Yeah, we actually wheel it into the volcano to try and seal it up. So Yellowstone doesn't explode. Phone. It's in a car. Do not put your hand I need my phone thing. right now. Please. Please. Dude, he said he couldn't even find his phone. He probably left it at the bar. Do not do that again or I'm gonna hobble you. Do you what understand you, me? What do you mean? <laughs> Mean, hobble me. Do not punch your head against What are you going to do? Throw me in jail? Okay, we're going to jail. You're going to jail anyway. <laughs> oh my god, he actually made a witty comeback. Holy fuck, he made a comeback. Nah, that's actually hilarious. What are you going to do? Throw me in jail? He's already going. <laughs> Sir! 
work. I got your wallet and your phone. No, no, no. It's, it's more important than that, sir. What's up? Look at my fucking phone. What about your phone? My goddamn girlfriend, who's an elementary teacher, right home. Where is she? In Fort Myers at 1030, bro. Okay, well, we'll arrange that. No, you fucking won't. Hey. I'll see you later, Sarge. Hey, Captain Batshit. Oh, it's going to be an intro. <laughs> Captain Batshit. <laughs> Yo, he calls him Paul Blart, I'll die. If he calls him Paul Blart, I'll die. You can't play games? Hey, listen. She needs to pick up. Didn't he break up with her? That's what I thought. But she's going to get fired. It's not even a joke. She needs, she needs someone to pick her up. I live with her, dude. Sir, please, please pick her up. Was he going to go pick her up? Ah, oh, man, my head. Hey, let me go, bro. Let me show you what's up. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yo, I honestly think there should be not a rule, but like there should be like a wager, like a one time wager that every American gets to where if they like blow over a a point, like a point two, they get a fist fight the cop. And if they lose, then they get thrown in jail for like a year. And if they win, they get they get to go home. Because this guy's saying, let me show you what, what you did, like, what I'll do. Dude, like, he's going to get fucked. Like, imagine this guy trying to fist fight a, anyone. If you're this drunk, you're going to swing just complete miss. And then you're going to get socked. Like, it would be like a whoosh, just fucking straight miss. Bang right to the fucking jaw and he'd fucking be on the ground. Paul Blart would murder him. Go. And I get it. I get it, Angela. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. My left hand is out. I'm loose. Oh. Yeah, you better check. You better check it out. <laughs> you better pull over to the side and let yeah, me out. that's what I thought. Yeah, pull me in. Where are we, Alcatraz? <laughs> Where are we, Alcatraz, bro? Oh, the door is open. Hey, save right. me! <laughs> are you gonna calm down a little bit? Since when? Since we let you out. I've been, I've been fine since I was arrested. Okay. Technically. I feel like I feel like you also have to be a type of person. He got charged with the DUI and resisting without violence. BAC was a point two four eight. Yeah, that's pretty drunk. That's really drunk, actually. How many drinks would an average person blow a point two five? If you weigh a hundred and eighty pounds. Like, that's how much I weigh. If you weigh 180 pounds, I would have to have 10, no, 11 drinks to blow a 0 .2, 0 0.25. But in, how, in what amount of time? Oh, is that women? What is the difference? Oh, women's different. Women, it's even less. If you're a woman and you weigh 180 pounds, you could have eight drinks and almost be there. Subtract 0.015 for each hour after drinking. And 0.08 is legal limit. If you weigh 140 pounds, if you have three drinks, you're legally impaired. Wow. Okay. So basically what you drink daily, dude, I'm not an alcoholic. Dysnetic for the sub, the great way for the thousand buddies. Had to share some love over the years. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for the fucking thousand buddies. Zasia for the three. As a Brit, your accent is horrendous. Oh, no, I know it's bad. 
Oh, no, I know. It's bad. Floating for the three. You've got to watch Australian body cam videos. They're so funny. Dude, send them in the video suggestion tab. I'll definitely watch them. Chunky for the sub 5.62 for the three. I don't know if it's allowed on Twitch, but do you ever play on an emulator to play old school games like Godfather or Scarface on PS2? Maybe, but I don't know if my chat would even want to see that. Rex Arena for the five. How hammered can I get before I can no longer pass, pass police DUI tests? That is a good YouTube video idea. That is a good YouTube video idea. They would definitely get age restricted. That would 100% get age restricted. But I would still make that. How many drinks can I have to where I could still pass a, a, a fucking DUI test? I think after four, you're, you're blowing over the legal limit. No matter who you are. Like, wait or whatever. Uh, but I, it, I think after, like, six, you're not going to be able to do any of the tests. Blurb up for the subs or Rio for the five. Able to tune in. I uh, wanted to say you're one of my favorite shows. I've been watching for months. Uh, love your content. Keep it up. Thank you. Stars, Hiss Watson, AJ, Brock for the sub, Joe's for the three. AJ official, Cletus, Max for the sub, Little Pickle for the three. I already read that. Vinny, Vinny for the fucking 28-month sub. When we play Helldivers. Dude, do you actually play Helldivers? I definitely play that shit. Uh, I played it yesterday with some of my friends. I have a group that I'm setting it up with. Me, Sneeg, and Zeusy, if you want to fucking hop in on that four, man. I don't know when you're free, though. I don't know what your schedule is looking like. But I would definitely be down to play that. I'm level 20 right now, but I'm like level 5. Helldivers is fun as hell, though. I definitely do need to play it. Uh, I haven't played it on stream before, uh, but I will. Next vid's going to be a hard watch chat. This is the fucking one that we've been in anticipation for. Uh, we also might have to add another fucking video today, depending. All right. Girl gets cheeks clapped while boyfriend fights war. You won't believe it. <sighs> Chat, this is going to be a very hard watch. CD for the sub. Play Helldivers with PewDiePie? No. Um, but chat, what was I going to say? Um, we'll play Helldivers maybe, maybe sometime next week. Maybe on Thursday, perhaps. Could probably run it Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's the Minecraft tournament, Sunday's Reacts, Monday I'm doing VR, and then some random shit. Tuesday I'm not live, Wednesday Scary Games, I'm probably doing Itch and then Little Misfortune. Next Thursday, we're doing the Infinite Craft race, but we could also probably run Helldivers before. Would you guys want to do that? We could probably that or Killer Frequency before. We could do one of those two. I'll see if it works for the other people. If not, then we'll do Killer Frequency. But I'm definitely down to run Helldivers next Thursday. What is Helldivers? Like, one of the most popular games out right now. Uh, you kill aliens and shit. Uh, Friday's Reacts next Saturday. Next Saturday's Ready or Not and probably Killer Frequency. Uh, or Ready or Not and then um, Cooking Companions will play. All right, lock in. Girl gets cheeks clapped while boyfriend fights in war. You won't believe it. The Neo for the sub. Lock in. Oh, also chat. One or two. I got to post on TikTok. Two. What was the game you were playing as a cop? <clears throat> There's a lot of games where I've done that. Like when I was playing as a 911 operator, that was Killer Frequency. If I was playing as a SWAT member, that was Ready or Not. Oh my god. Alright, hold up. Lock in. Coming up on tomorrow's teachings. And you? You're never there for me! Ever! But you deserve someone who stands up for what's right. Let's go back to your place. Why do you guys recommend these fucking videos, dude? Is the food ready yet? Just about, babe. Well, can you hurry up? You know I don't like to eat past seven. Yeah, I know. I'm just playing it right now. And finish. Happy that is the worst. That is like half a cup of rice and cucumbers. Or zucchini. That's zucchini. Happy anniversary, babe. I love you. 
Are you trying to poison me? This tastes like cancer. No, I... I wanted to make you something. I, I wanted it to be special. Why couldn't you just... Dog, you made fucking zucchini and rice with soy sauce. Step your cooking game up. I'm gonna be on the woman's side on this one, dude. You are actually fucking throwing here. What the fuck was that dinner, dog? That shit was ass. That shit was ass. Just get your There's no main course rice and fucking zucchini. Tastes like cancer, though. It's crazy. That's that's a bit disrespectful. Saul for the sub. Leor for the three. Not able to watch the streams because of time zones. I'm gonna be. Uh, I've been watching all your YouTube videos. Subbed all the channels. Make my day bright. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Perry for the three. I've been able to donate recently. Love the streams, man. Anyways, uh, I'm also sad that Helldiver's not on Xbox. Yeah, that is weird that it's not on Xbox. Like I told you. I'm sorry. I um, I can make you something else. No, no. Like I if I made Brooke rice and zucchini for dinner, she wouldn't be like rude, but she would be like, uh. <laughs> We're just eating, we're eating sides here. We're, what the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we doing? I don't want anything. You completely ruined the night. Can you just make me a bubble bath? I just want to relax. Okay, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. I got you something. Come on, this way. What did you get me? Bro, got the cooking apron on to fucking boil rice. Okay, it's a surprise now. Close your eyes. It's a fish fillet from McDonald's. Hold on. It's the main course. It's the main course, babe. Almost. Okay, now. What do you think, babe? Are you kidding me? What? You got me a Lexus? Are you freaking kidding me? Very expensive. This was all I could afford. I specifically told you I wanted a Porsche and you get me a Lexus? A Porsche is like 90 grand. For a fucking Cayenne or Cayenne, however the fuck you say it. Boy, what the fuck? I thought this would make you happy. You know what would make me happy? If you took it back and bought me a Porsche. Okay, come on. You know I can't. Yo, do you think there's actually relationships that are like this? Like, why would they ever be together? Somebody said Gold Digger. Well, no shit. But I'm saying, like, I, like why would he just not be like, all right, we're going to break up? can't afford a Porsche. Then why can't you like- I feel like there's a very select few of people that act like that, right? But you gotta think 8 billion people in the world, probably like 3 billion couples. Make more money. A man should be making $100,000 a month minimum. <laughs> Yo! A man should be making 100 k a month of minimum. Minimum? $1.2 million a year? 1.2 mil? Minimum. Do the average American makes 1.9 in their whole life. Deshaun was right about you. You're a little boy. Deshaun. Do you know how hard I have been working? How much that Lexus cost me? 80 grand. Your anniversary. There's 2.6 billion couples. Did you look it up? I do everything for you because I love you. Because I want a family with you. And because I want to be with you forever. And I mean that. And it hurts me to know that I don't get that same love back. Dog just looks like Josh Richards. Because I try so hard to be there for you. And you, you're never there for me. Facts. Ever. Facts. Cook her up, King. You know what I'm saying, Kelsey? Cook her up, King. Tell her how it is. Why did you yell at me? Bro. I'm sorry, I didn't... Wow, he caved so fast. Wow, he caved so fast. That is nuts. That is fucking nuts. I think that prompts yelling, bro. You bought her a car and she complained. I didn't mean to She's gaslighting you. You monster. God, I'm... I'm so, so sorry, Kelsey. That, that was a mistake. You don't love me. No, no, I, I loved you so, so, so much. Then why did you yell at me? I, I didn't mean it. I, I don't know where it came from. I'm sorry, okay? I'm just gonna call Deshaun to come pick me up. Bro, who is Deshaun? What? Babe. I can't trust you. You yelled at me. 
and just look at me, okay? That was a mistake, and I won't ever do that to you again. I promise that. And I'm so sorry. And I love you. What does this have to do with fighting and war? I feel like we're already like a fourth of the way through the fucking video here. So, so much. Just, just please listen to me. Okay, I'm under a lot of stress. I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, okay. Under a lot of stress. First you made me a shitty dinner, and then you bought me a shitty car. And then you yell at me for being ungrateful. Who's this Sean? Don't right, he's just it. now asking this. It's just my girlfriend. Sandra. Deshawn is your girlfriend? Okay. Desandra, don't worry. Breaking news. Global tensions escalate as more <laughs> Breaking news. Skibbity Toilet has reached an all-time high. North Korea launches a series of missiles, initiating an invasion of Russia. Simultaneously, Germany launched an unexpected attack on the United States. The world- Why would North Korea attack Russia? Is in the throw of World War III. Citizens over the age of 18, this is a critical moment. Governments worldwide are mobilizing forces. And if you- Yo, if they started a draft, would y'all go? If it was like World War Three, maybe. But if they started a draft to like for the U.S. to get like more oil or some shit, bro, I I would I would be a conscientious conscientious objector, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I'm not going to that bitch. Oh fuck no. Yeah, dub for y'all that say you would. I would not. Like, I love my country, I respect everybody that fights for my country, but if we were like, if they were like, yeah, we're gonna go to, uh, to another war in the Middle East so we could get more oil, I'd say, oh, that's great. I'm not going. You would hide? No, or you just fucking sit in prison for a year, and you just keep sitting. There's people that are doing that in, um, like, the fucking Israel-Palestine conflict in Israel. They don't want to fight in war, so they just sit in prison for, like, until the war's over. You're eligible? You may be drafted to serve. You got a present for way longer? Well, not if you're... You're allowed to be a conscientious objector. Uh, that's like a thing. Uh, the issue with being a conscientious objector is you have to be a conscientious objector of all war. So if you have ever supported a war and there's evidence of you ever supporting a war, then you have to go, right? Like, if you're like, I'm a conscientious objector, I'm not going to go, but there's like a Twitter tweet that you did from 2012 where you're like, fuck fuck blank and blank america rules right then it would be like uh no you gotta go right you have to be an objector of all war how long do you serve in prison for not going to war when drafted isn't the draft not even a fucking thing five years up to five years in the vietnam war five hundred thousand people refused and only three thousand ever went to jail you can get fined up to a quarter million dollars and slash or five years in prison. I'm taking that. I'm not going to fucking trek through the jungle and step on mines for a fucking government that doesn't care about me. This is a call to do <laughs> like like that's that's crazy, dude. No. And refusal is not an option. The world needs your I'm not saying now. I'm saying in the sense of like when we were in the Vietnam War. None of us were alive in this chat, likely. But, like, I would not... If I was alive during the... V, like, if, if you teleported me into Vietnam and they drafted me, I wouldn't go. Like, I, I wouldn't go. I don't care if people called me a pussy or, like, I was abandoning my country. Like, dude, that's not... It was, a, it was fighting over a war out of the fear of communism, and it just only killed people on both sides. Unneeded losses on all ends help to face I served in Nam I really doubt that you would be like 70 is this unprecedented war is unneeded well I I I see war 
historically as something that's inevitable, but I don't support war. I think that any war conflict that is occurring could have an ulterior peace motive, or not motive, way to handle the problem, which I think is always the better option, which is why I, I just object to war in general. I understand where people need to have war to fight and defend themselves, but that's in the sense of defense if you're getting attacked, right? If you're um, just attacking a country or two countries are attacking each other because they disagree upon something, like that is not needed threat what's all that fuss about can they handle their own problem what's the point in bombing innocent people exactly like it always it's innocent people dying and it's people fighting and this is what i also fucking hate about war it's always people are fighting in war to serve people in power that are manip not manipulating but basically puppet mastering them to get what they want and what they deem as good which doesn't necessarily coincide with the people that are actively fighting in the war for something that they might not even agree with, right? Like in Vietnam, World War II was different uh, for a lot of the people that fought in World War II because it was like a big fucking thing, right? Like we're fighting, you were fighting against Germany, you were fighting against Hitler, you were trying to serve something like better than yourself. But in the Vietnam War, as the war went, I mean, they probably teach you in a history class, more and more people that were in the war didn't support the war. Like most of the troops that were going were like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, like it's, there's, it's just killing innocent people. Kelsey, this is serious. Adolf Hitler is still alive. <laughs> Kelsey, this is serious. Adolf Hitler is still alive. I might get drafted. Have in the United States. This seriously better not mess up my plan. Plans? I might get drafted. You might get drafted too. It's 2024. I'll see. I'll see you up there with me. This is a big Adolf deal. Hitler Whatever. Hitler has come to the United States and activated. He would be like 110. Hated these Nazis. Joe and I would be in the same battalion. Yeah, that'd be crazy though. I get drafted in one of my Twitch Yakinkins on the fucking front battlefield with me. <laughs> it's fucking. I, I get drafted. And it's just fucking. He's like. He's like. Yo, Joe. I'm like. What? He's like. Dude. I'm Yakinkin. I'd be like. Really. I see, I see a blinking light in the ground. There's, a, I, there's obviously a mine, and he's walking towards it. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. I would tell him. I would say, stop! You were a multi-month sub. I can't have you go like this. I'm going to miss you, Kelsey. But I promise I'm going to come home. You're leaving? So typical of you. This isn't about me. World War Three is happening right now. As we speak, and they're coming to get me tomorrow. I need you to understand. That fast? You watch that bitch get announced on the news. Next day, you're getting shipped out. You got to go to fucking basic training first. They're not just sending you onto the battlefield with a fucking gun saying, figure it out. This is beyond us. I'm going to war, and I need you to be strong for me. Whatever, Ben. Just go. Leave me. So if it's just a normal viewer, you finna act like you see nothing? No, it was a joke. I wouldn't let, I wouldn't, if I was in a battle scenario and I saw a mine, I would tell anyone in that scenario to not step on the mine. You thought I was fucking serious? I, I was, I thought it was clearly obvious that it was a joke. I would say, I appreciate my subs and not, yo, Yakinkin's not even a sub. Yo, that is fucking nuts. That is fucking nuts. No, I'm actually not dissing him, though. See, I would still save him, right? It doesn't matter. Even not sub or non-sub. It could be anybody. They don't even need to be a Joe Bar viewer. I'd still fucking save him. I'd be like, yo! There's a mine there. Hello, Mrs. Smith. I'm Lance Cole. We regret to inform you that we are going to be taking your It's son. just this month? You kick in. I don't care if you sub or not. Like, I'm serious. You don't have to... This goes for anybody. I appreciate my subs as much as I do my non-subs. I understand people don't want to sub. They might not have the money for it. It's I don't give a fuck, right? Um, I, I, was, I was making a joke. You don't need a sub to me. With us today. I'm sorry, sir. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Well, I'm sorry, but it's mandatory. We have a war going on, and we need all the help we can get. So we Would they actually go door to door and pick them up? They'll be taking your son with us today. Please come in, Lance. Thank you, ma'am. Please have a seat. I'll go get to Sean. Thank you, ma'am. When did they stop the draft? Nineteen seventy-three. I had a teacher who's pretty old, and he was my history teacher in high school. And I don't—it I mean, was definitely not the Vietnam War, but it was something else. And the guy got drafted, or he just—I don't know if he got drafted or he was in war and he had—you know, when you when you when you sign up for the military, if you're not drafted, you have to serve a certain amount of years. That's like kind of like not necessarily negotiated, but you can't just you can't just join the army and leave. Like you're locked in once you're locked in, right? And. He was there, and he went to some war. I don't know. I don't know what war it was. It might have been the Vietnam War, because my teacher was really old. And he said that he was... Oh, this is what it was. It was when he was in high school. He went to the same high school that he taught me at, right? And so this guy's probably like 70, and it was the Vietnam War. And somebody that had previously graduated got drafted and came back to talk to one of the priests and was begging them to help him get out because he had already served like a six month term in the Vietnam War. And he was like, I'm going to die. Like, he's like, I need to get out of this. They're sending me back. I will not make it again in another trip. And then they sent him because, like, obviously, like, what the fuck, what, what the fuck is the, the school or a teacher or fucking priest going to do, right? Uh, and then he died. Like, that shit is nuts. Uh, that you had to go. Like, you were, it was un, un-fucking, uh, like, it was, there was no freedom of choice there. I mean, there was freedom of choice in the sense of, like, you're going to go to prison if you don't. But, like, that shit is, somebody redeemed Dent. Like, that shit was crazy. That he went, came back, was like, I'm going to die. And they were like, I can't do anything. And then he did. Skibbity for the three. Are you from Ohio? Uh, w. Brook. Okay. Yeah. And you're banned. And you're banned. Uh, Colonel for the sub floating for the three. Adolf at 134th Alzheimer's forgetting who he is just starts support randomly supporting Jewish people. Uh, Olay, uh, Fluffy SYT for the sub, Mag for the five. Joke went over his head faster than the bullets in Vietnam. Pajamas General for the sub, Zandal, uh, Xander for the three. Adolf going for round two at 130 plus years old. Cranky for the thousand biddies. Uh, been watching your VODs at work on the ecology floors. Your videos help me get through tough times with bouts of depression. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, Basil, for the sub. Uh, and I'm glad I could help, man. Floating for the three. I hate how these videos make out women to be gold diggers. Yeah, no, I don't like that either. Um, I will say that I don't think they're just doing it against women. I think that there are times where they have a man that's also shitty. But I will say they do a lot of videos, specifically this. I don't know if it's specifically this channel, but it's just in general, where the woman is like a gold digger or somebody that's like kind of dickheadish. Um, but I will say I have seen like Darman videos and shit where the guy's the asshole. Basil for the sub. Uh, floating for uh, the three. Most women don't act like that. I would say the majority of women don't act like that. Saul for the sub. Lior for the three. I was not able to watch your streams because of time zones. I've been able to watch your YouTube videos. Some of the channels might make my day bright. Thank you, Perry, for the three. Have been able to donate much love to videos and streams. Uh, already read that. Miley for the three. First time sending you best. Want to say you helped me a lot after my brother who's 25 passed away in his sleep. Rip in the fucking chat. I'm sorry to hear that. Miley underscore ben ben Benoit. Uh, or Benoit. I'm sorry for your brother's passing. Uh, what did he die from in his sleep? I've had not so good thoughts, if you know what I mean, and listening to your advice and others has helped me even during those hard times. If you ever have suicidal thoughts, reach out to somebody, genuinely. Go to a therapist, psychiatrist, talk to somebody that can help you. Um, suicide is not the answer. Been trying to better myself. Now I'm finally working on becoming a marine biologist. Well, that's good. Uh, been wa uh, I watching you as I study, and I wanted uh, you to know you made a positive difference in my life. Well, I'm glad I could, uh, genuinely. 
And I know I glance past a lot of these donos as quick as I can, but that's just because I want to read them all without making this an entire stream of me just reading donos. But I genuinely do appreciate you uh, for that. Like, that is a fucking insanely nice message. I'm sorry for your brother's passing, and I'm glad that my content could help. For anybody as well. Like, if you're ever going through something, reach out to somebody. Um, I don't want to glance over your message or anything like that, or yours or anybody else's that I've read. Um, but I do want to... I don't want to just ignore donos, you know what I mean? But thank you for that. Uh, I genuinely appreciate that. Like, it, the amount of messages you guys send where you say that I've made a positive impact on your life uh, is amazing. Uh, and I appreciate that. Um, I always say this. I mean, I'm going to repeat myself here. I used to be in it for the fucking clout and shit years back. Um, I thought I was, like, fucking cool as shit and all. But, dude, when I started doing Twitch more proactively, uh, switched my major to philosophy, started dating Brooke, dude, my whole outlook on life changed drastically. Um, I think my content got better as well, but also just, I like being able to help you guys, you know, um, obviously I can't help you individually, but just in the sense of my content as a whole. And I know I could give some of you guys advice when you send like messages and I try to give blanketed advice. I, I know it's not the best, but, um, I know how it can be to feel like either down depressed or lonely, or you feel like you don't have friends or something. And I, I know a lot of a lot of people struggle with a lot of those issues. Uh, and so me being able to like provide some sort of help with my content is a fucking dub. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you're, uh, you're getting the help you need and fucking dub that you're becoming a Marine biologist. That's fucking sick. Perry for the three. Um, all right. I think I'm caught back up. Emery and random for the sub, uh, go out for the three. The new Papa meat video is getting heated in the comments. They're calling out Papa for being a hypocrite on his new video. How are they being a how are they calling him out on being a hypocrite? We might watch it today. We 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 probably should have enough time. All right, lock in. Uh, They're here to get the sun. Okay. Uh, 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 As you can see, Deshaun cannot go to war. He's retarded. This just wouldn't work. Panda, thank you for the five fucking gifteds. Thank you if you get a sub. Thank you for the fucking five gifteds, Panda Gavin. Um, this just wouldn't work. Um, in any way. Also, I'm wondering how much they paid the actor to fucking act disabled. Uh, to the point of like being like offensive. Uh, but also. If the government knows who you are and they come and you like haven't gone to get drafted and they come to your house and you're like acting disabled, that's not, they're going to be like, you're faking it, right? Like you can't, they would have documentation on who can serve and who can't. I'm sorry. Miss you might need to go to a doctor and see if you have like, like physical problems, like flat feet or something to where you can't run. But, like, in the sense of, like, a mental disability, like a severe mental disability, they would know. I, I, we had no idea. There wasn't anything on his records about him being disabled. We, we didn't know. I, I'm sorry. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he would fucking fall for it in the sense of, like, who the hell would ever act like that. But in a time of war, I would still feel like, bro, they'd be like, yeah, you, you know. Yes, that's because it just happened. Deshaun was out with his Just friend. happened? Friends at night. And he's tripped and stumbled down some stairs and he hit his head. The doctor says he's going to be a vegetable. He's autistic now. <laughs> Can you become autistic? You could, you could fall and hit your head or get gravely injured to where you could be disabled. But you can't become autistic. Is that a thing? Like, you, yeah, you could reasonably fall, hit your head, and, like, it, it fucks up your head so much to where, like, you have massive brain trauma, and now, like, you can't move, and, and, you're, and you're disabled in that sense, but you're not going to become autistic. Panda for the sub, the goat for the five. How to take a shower, uh, felt bad for missing part of the stream, so here you go. Well, you don't have to feel bad for missing part of the stream. Uh, you really inspired me to look into philosophy as a college major. Dub. Pixel for the sub. Miley for the three. 
Thank you for the response and advice. Meet it a lot. We don't know how he passed because they wouldn't get do an autopsy because he had a condition when he was younger and he was the first kid to ever be cured from it. Wow. I wish I could say uh, what it's called, but I genuinely have no clue how to say it. That was a long time ago and he was fine now, but they assumed it was a seizure but wouldn't confirm it. Wow. I'm sorry you're going through that, genuinely. Um, and it was like a condition he was the only person that he was uh, cured from. That's nuts. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, calm down, Deshaun. Mm. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh... It's okay, Deshaun. Mm. It's okay. God is on our side. Uh... No, he is not, bro. You're acting disabled. That's all that matters. Well, <clears throat> um, I think I should be going now. Um, very sorry for the inconvenience. Dog, I'd respect just breaking your leg, like, more than this, by far. Like, just fucking shatter your own fucking kneecaps and then have to heal for a year. Good luck with the war. We won't let you down. Hoorah. 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 Wow, really. We did it, Ma. I don't have to go to war. Like taking candy from a baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, I forgot my pen. <sighs> you faking it? You're not taking my son. Plot twist. They fucking kill the recruiter. I can't believe you had the guts to say no to the draft. Bro just had an SMG on fucking, on their fucking back. It takes real courage to stick up for yourself. Well, Kelsey, I believe in making choices that align with my principles. I couldn't let them dictate. You killed somebody so you don't have to go to life like that? Exactly. Unlike my ex, Ben. He just let them take him without a fight. It's like he had no backbone. You know, some people just go with the flow, I guess. But you deserve someone who stands up for what's right. That's why I appreciate you, Deshaun. You're not afraid to make your own decisions, and I find that really attractive. You know, I just believe in living life on my own terms. So hot. Let's go back to your place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm doing some renovations right now. There's construction going on. Let's go to yours. Well, I don't have a house. We could go to my ex's. He's gone, and I have the keys. Sounds good to me. This is just not how war would be. Running in an open fucking field? What is this, World War One? Fucking two guys just sp eight fucking sprinting through, through war. Yes, it w yeah, it used to be like that. War, na war nowadays is not people just running in an open field. While bullets are just raining down. They're going to die. Like, you're never living through that. What was that one strip called when trench warfare was a thing? Somebody that paid attention. One of my chatters that actually paid attention in history class. There was that strip in World War I. No man's land. Yep, there it is. And it was like a long, a long line where, like, they would have to cross it. But it, if anybody ever even just peeked their head out of the trench, they'd die. Let's go! Oh, chat pays attention when it's World War One. When they're talking about the Revolutionary War. Me 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 me. Oh, George Washington. Oh, George Washington sailed across a lake and shot some people. <laughs> nah, it is interesting. I think any war is uh, interesting to learn about, but that doesn't mean I'm, like, actively supporting that war. Go on, man! Go! I do think history is interesting. Shit! Run, 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 run! Go! Man, it's slippery! World War One's more interesting? Dude, it's interesting that in World War II, there, for a brief moment in World War II, there were people that still used fucking cavalry. Imagine in World War II... People have machine guns, and you're on a horseback. Fucking. 
Yeah! You're about to get gunned down, dude. I will not let you take our lives! Come on! Stay down! Shit! They had machine guns in World War One. Yeah, but there was way more fucking cavalry there. Behind us! I always the biggest battle that I find fucking horrifying is imagine being on both sides of D-Day. Like imagine being in that have you ever seen the movie with Tom Hanks? What is it called? Saving Private Ryan. Oh my god, chat, that is an amazing movie. When I'm not even going to play it because it will get copyrighted. So I'm also going to fucking mute the shit out of it. But when they had to fucking storm the beaches, dude. And it was just like 50 fucking German guys with turrets. Just do, 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 just mowing people down. It was the epitome of I'm just going to send as many people as I fucking can. To the point where they can't kill us fast enough. And then we win. Which is what's fucked. Cause it's people. They're into the rest. Stay down. Stay quiet. Off topic. Great Call of Duty. Great Call of Duty. Call of Duty World War II. Fell off too soon, man. Fell off too soon. They gotta remake that. I'd play that COD. That was a that was a good COD. That was a good COD. And they had D-Day in that shit. That was a good Call of Duty. Vanguard's better. Vanguard's fucking trash. And the last six Call of Duties have been awful. The last Call of Duty that I actually enjoyed was Black Ops 3. And I'm so serious. No, Cold War was good. Cold War was good. I liked Cold War. I think that was a good I think that was a good COD. Okay, yeah. I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Müssen sterben. Töte sie alle. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. <laughs> Another great movie. Oh my god, I gotta rewatch these movies. Fury. With uh what's his name? Brad Pitt. Fire movie. You understand me? Another great movie with Brad Pitt, Inglorious Bastards. Oh my god. I could just list 10 war movies that are fucking amazing to watch, but it's like, then you really think about it, and you're like, wow, this actually fucking happened. Well, not Fury necessarily, but like other shit. This, remember? We are not gonna die. We're sitting ducks, man. Keep your head in the game. We're gonna stick together and make it out. We train for this, all right? I can't do this. Yes, you can. I don't watch this. Okay, I'm gonna keep pausing, and I don't care. This is gonna be the most boring shit in the world, but I'm gonna fucking still tell this. I had to watch this movie called Amen for one of my college classes the other day. And it was about this. It's a movie about this real officer that was uh, lieutenant of the Waffen SS in uh, Nazi Germany. And he used to be like a dysentery officer guy. Like he used to like help disinfect water. And when he started witnessing the atrocities, his name is Gerstein. You can look him up. Real dude. When he witnessed the atrocities of World War II and he started getting involved in the Waffen SS and he started witnessing the Holocaust, he started going to priests and trying to get the Vatican to know so he could get all of the Christians to stand in Germany and not in Germany to stand against Germany because many Germans and many people did not know that the Holocaust was happening early on in the war. And in, I don't know if they actually ended up telling the Pope, but he, in real life, he ended up telling a bunch of priests and trying to go with all this info to prove to the Vatican that this was happening. They just didn't care. Uh, and then he turned himself into the French, wrote four papers about how the Vatican did nothing, and then killed himself. You have to go back to your family, and I have to get back to the love of my life, okay? If I can't make it Yes, home. you can! I'm gonna go left, and you cover me, okay? What movie was it? Amen. Ben, where are you? Ben! Jay! 
I'm up here! Let's go! Come on! Bro, what? Dog has a gas mask on, but he threw an explosive. Burn! Your body would be in fucking shambles, dude. It would not throw your body like that. Oh, and now he's going to be disabled. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I might have to full screen on this. I'm, I'm ready to... Oh, God, he lost his legs. Kelsey! 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 Ben, you're back already? I serve my country! I lost my legs! I lost my ability to do anything! This is what I come back to? Your, your legs are gone. I have nothing! wrong with you but, but his legs are gone oh my god why are they making why are they making her like oblivious to everything but, but my doctor said i would be stuck like this forever ew i don't want to be with you we're broken up we're done you're <laughs> at his apartment you are at his place <laughs> you heard her <laughs> Throws him down the fucking stairs. That is wild. After Ben is kicked out of his own house, he is determined to defy the odds. He starts a rigorous rehabilitation. Determined to defy the odds. Fucking kicked out of his own house. Sue them. He just threw you. He just assaulted you. And they're squatting in your house. Rehabilitation journey. Pushing himself to the limits. Over time, Ben saves enough money to buy prosthetic legs. Through perseverance and hard work, Ben begins to regain strength and mobility. He decides to channel his resilience into starting a business, showcasing his determination and entrepreneurial spirit. He slowly makes millions and becomes the best version of himself. Meanwhile, Deshaun, who had falsely claimed disability benefits, faces his own karma. Yo, that is nuts. He is involved in a car accident that- Dude, that was like a fucking cul-de-sac in a neighborhood. <laughs> Who the hell would be going like 80 miles an hour? Leaves him with a permanent disability. Because Deshaun is now permanently disabled, Kelsey breaks up with him because of this. Kelsey realizes breaking up with Ben was a mistake, now that he is successful and normal again. Normal? Ben! Kelsey, what are you doing here? Well, it looks like you're kind of famous now. I've been seeing you on my feed. Oh, you must be talking about my book. You have a book? Yeah, it's about yeah, how- Yeah, it's about Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Cheese Touch. You should give it a read. I defeated my odds. It's a bestseller right now. Wow, congratulations. Maybe we could catch up, go grab a bite to eat. Are you serious? Yeah, it's just like old times. Kelsey, you treated me horribly in our relationship. I've changed. That was the old me. And the second I left for war, you started hooking up with someone else? I did everything for you. I spoiled you, and I loved you like no man ever will. Yo, I think this is a cringier thing to do than just shutting the door in her face the second she tries to talk to you. You know what I mean? Like, if he actually went through what was here, what was happening here, he should just go, bump, shut the door, walk away. You left me. You left me because I was in an accident. Because she knows everything that he's saying. 
Ben, I promised that I could change. I don't know what I was thinking. No. No, you're only back because I'm successful. You left me when I lost. And now I'm up. <laughs> you're down, Kelsey. Goodbye. I'm surprised they didn't do like a plot twist. Like most tomorrow's teaching videos, they would have made like Kelsey a crackhead or something like that. That's like the majority of tomorrow's teaching videos. It would have been like, Kelsey actually ended up abusing heroin directly after this. Being disloyal and choosing short-term happiness over a committed... Oh, Jesus Christ. We need her to fucking explain the lesson here. ...relationship can come back to bite you. When Ben overcame his struggles and became successful, Kelsey faced her own karma. Never take love for granted, as the choices that you make have consequences down the road. Oh, my God. Nah, bro. Special needs girl loses her V card. She loves it. Dude, like, what is that thumbnail, man? Like, the, the videos they make are insane. McNosa for the sub Miley for the three. The doctor, when he was little, was treating him for cancer because that's what they thought he had. Turns out the cancer treatment cured him. He's the only, he's the reason other children's lives can be saved. They now treat kids with that condition with the cancer treatment. Strangers even liked him. He would go around at gas stations uh, and clean people's cars for free. We miss him a lot. I'm genuinely sorry for your loss. I think of how he would want me to be strong, and here I finally am uh, starting to study for marine biology. Well, that's fucking good you're doing what he would have wanted. Um, and what do you want to do with the marine biology? Do you want to do, like, research? Uh, McNosa for the fucking three subs pro, and George for the sub Amar for the three. Scream to wake me up when you're done. Oh, yeah, sure thing. <clears throat> ah! meds for the, for the sub killer for the three. Um... Could he get him banned? He says he's sorry. Uh, no. Uh, and because he sent you to send that chat, I'm going to ban you. Uh, my apologies. Uh, tell him to just stop. Like, just watch the stream. Peebo for the 10. Uh, hey, Joe, my girlfriend and I have four years broke up two days ago due to her getting back on drugs. Any advice? Focus on yourself. You could tell her to get help, especially if she's, like, addicted to drugs or something. But outside of that, I wouldn't say, you know, ruin your life over the effect of trying to help her. Um, hang out with friends. Do the same thing that I said 20 minutes ago to somebody else. Um, focus on yourself, man. Quono for the three. Uh, I watch your videos all the time when we started out on TikTok. Revisited your content a couple months ago. Thanks for the last little. I know you're actually a very uh genuine and good person with a great community. You're honestly my favorite creator. Uh, creator. Thank you, DJ, for the sub Apollo. Apollo fucking for the 5182, dude. Been struggling IRL. Your videos and streams helped me a ton. I don't know if I'd be here without them. Dude, genuinely, thank you for the fucking nice-ass message. And dub in the chat for Apollo, bro. Thank you for the fucking 5182. Holy shit, man. That is insane. Thank you. X Prime for the sub-floating for the three. Autism doesn't make people act like this. You can't become autistic. It's a birth disability. Yeah. Panda in space for the sub-Randella for the three. Uh, abuse trauma that can cause autism that's not from birth. I Would that give you autism, though? Uh, PJ for the sub. I don't know. I don't know the research on that. Um, I think I'm caught up now. Make no sub for the sub. But yeah, I mean, like, you gotta focus on yourself if you're, you're getting through a breakup, right? Uh, I would say try and say they need to get the help they need, but outside of that, you know, be kind of hands-off in that sense. Next video. Bigfoot prints. This is a Bigfoot footprints in, oh my god. Bigfoot footprints found in Oregon. Third tries a charm. This is a footprint from Bigfoot himself. No, the fuck it is not. Dog, that is just a random imprint in the fucking ground, probably at a parking lot. At least that's what the scientist is claiming to say. It was found Cliff Bear Bar Barrickman. Isn't this Bigfoot? What is, what is Finding Book? Bi Finding Bigfoot is the name of the show. That was the best show ever. Do they still make that? They should still make those. They should fund more of those stupid shows. Where it's like people like... We're looking in the wilderness for the Sasquatch. Let's do a call. That's their mating call. Through my extensive research, I've found out that Bigfoot actually sounds like that, even though I've never seen or heard him ever. We've determined through the low-frequency analysis of certain videos, that's what he sounds like. 
We actually have Johnny over here dressed in a skirt and put on red lipstick to attract him. Hundreds of big footprints, handprints. He's gonna go stand in the middle of the woods and do the Bigfoot dance to attract a mate. I'm not gonna. Oh God, am I gonna do this dance? I'll do a dance. <laughs> fucking just starts doing like an Irish jig. Like deadass, that's the fucking plot of this show, dude. That's how little expertise these people fucking have. Like anything ever, they'll be like, yeah, that's Bigfoot. Dude in a gorilla suit, you take a picture of him with a fucking iPhone, turn down it to like 180p, and then he'll put on his glasses and zoom in and he'll be like, as you can see right there, that's the claw marks. And even prints of Bigfoot's ass. I've spent about a month gathering evidence, talking to scientists, debunking theories, and I have finally found out that the reason most Bigfoot believers believe is because of all the footprints that have been found for nearly a hundred years. This is basically my final hope to find enough evidence to see if Bigfoot could actually be real. I just don't see, dude, he did an episode on all of these. Goat Man. I remember we watched his Skinwalker one. We should watch some of his other ones. Chupacabra, Mothman. Okay, Mothman definitely doesn't exist. Chupacabras are just fucking dogs with skin disorders. The final part of the Bigfoot series. The museum we're in front of right now, this is where the hunt begins, the hunt for Bigfoot. The people describe him like Indiana Jones. Whatever evidence he finds, he brings back here. Pretty, pretty cool. I honestly think that's baller. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good to see you again, man. I, I feel like I haven't learned a ton about the castings. This is some of the best. I still res I still don't think he's stupid, though. See, this is, this is the, this is, like, the thing. Like, even though he really believes in Bigfoot, I don't think he's, like, an idiot. Because, like, he, he's, it's, like, a, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's, like, he thinks that this creature exists and it's just, like, a hobby. Whereas when somebody's, like... Evolution isn't real. The moon landing was fake. The earth is flat. Stars aren't. Uh, stars are fake. Everything isn't. I'm like, okay. Now it's just getting into outlandish territory that, like, you can't. You can't defend, right? Like, I'll still. I'm not. I don't think flat earthers are stupid. But, like, if somebody says the earth is flat, I immediately have to go back to, like, a. Okay. Now you're presuming that all these other things are also fake. Whereas this guy saying Bigfoot's real isn't him saying that he believes in these wild conspiracy theories. He just thinks that there's this very tall ape-like man that lives in the woods, right? Like, that's, that's not that crazy. Hard evidence. They say there is oh, yeah. no hard evidence. I don't believe in evolution, but I agree. Can I ask how you, can I ask why you don't believe in evolution? I don't want to start a whole argument right now, and I'm, I'm going to be respectful about it, but how space ain't real? Oh, God. Flat, it, flat Earth, it, we have no evidence of evolution. You have a tailbone. We see other animals evolve, exactly. Like dogs. Dogs from wolves? Well, dogs didn't. I don't think dogs actually came from wolves. I think dogs came from a common ancestor that wolves shared with dog. Um, like, way back, right? And then you can kind of, like, uh, create your own shit. I believe in God. There are many Christians that believe in evolution. Just because you're Christian doesn't mean you can't believe in evolution. The way I see it, I mean, at least, I, I, I'm not going to fucking sit here and say you have to believe what I believe because you don't right at the end of the day your faith is your faith I respect your faith but you could still you could still realistically believe in evolution and just believe that Adam and Eve were the first homo sapiens and that other humans prior to them were just not homo sapiens and they were Neanderthals or something like that and that even so other Neanderthals could evolve into humans throughout time and it was just Adam and Eve were the first homo sapiens Evolution is contradictory to the Bible. Yeah, in many ways. But, I mean, it's just... Trying to disprove evolution is a uphill battle. Uh, it's not like a... It's not like a... The first common stance 
is that evolution is real, and you have to disprove that. It's not proving evolution's real, it's disproving evolution's real, right? Same thing, like, a lot of people will say, like, why would I ever be agnostic or, or, or not believe in an afterlife? Because that's the common stance, right? If you were never taught any religious beliefs, your first and foremost opinion would be there's either nothing or something that doesn't make sense to me, right? And then the ulterior is proving that there is something, right? Same thing with evolution in the sense that science says that evolution exists. You have to disprove that. So that is the first opinion, not the second. Um, I don't know. I think it's really hard to disprove evolution. Like, very hard. Impossible, I would say. Um, I'm not, I, I don't think that disproves at all the religion of Christianity. I'm saying I know personal Christians that believe in evolution. But I just think that the evolution argument is almost impossible to disagree with. Um, Nazi for the sub. Amar for the sub. Without you, with without using, when you, whenever I've had a, an evolution talk with people, most people usually quote the Bible as a means of why evolution didn't exist. But that doesn't tell me that evolution didn't exist. That's just telling me the Bible's what the Bible says, right? Uh, DZ for the sub, or or what a religious text says. It's not going into actual reason arguments on why evolution isn't real, right? Uh, Amer for the sub, Mr. Weenie for the sub, 634 for the sub, or uh, for the five, or for the six, 634 from a random chatter because I can't see your dono ID. Just started streaming, do you recommend anything? Uh, use short form media to help boost, uh, your audience and then transfer it there. If you stream from nothing, you're probably not going to go anywhere. Uh, but if you start on YouTube or Twitch, you can have growth. Bible isn't facts. Well, I'm not, I'm not dissing the Bible in any way. Uh, I think the Bible has very, a lot of value, right? Especially for Christians and the faith in general. But I think if I'm having an argument of, I believe in evolution and somebody doesn't, and they quote a, a Bible quote to disprove evolution, that doesn't disprove evolution. That's just telling me what the Bible says. In the same way of, if I say, prove to me God's real, and you quote the Bible, that doesn't prove to me that God's real. That's just telling me what the Bible says, right? It pr Proof of God being real has to be used without religious text. It has to be a reason-based argument, which is what philosophers do. I've read many philosophers that have used reason-based arguments to prove that God exists, and some of them are very extensive. It's just using the Bible to prove that God's real is a circular argument. Same thing with evolution. Rex Arena for the five. How was the clapping cheeks video? I was watching my car. Uh, it was rough. Uh, floating for the three. Uh, DZ for the sub. You should look into macro versus microevolution. Look into scientific and astronomical proof that could disprove evolution. Share it with me if 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 you know about it. Right. Share it with me. Trey Stone for the five gifted. Uh, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate the subs. I'm not dissing any faith, by the way. Like whenever we have these philosophical side rants. Um, I'm just sharing what I personally believe. At the end of the day, I'm as right as you in the sense of faith, but in the sense of a scientific evolution-based argument, that's something that I will take a larger stance on just because that's not like what's going to happen after we die. What's going to happen after we die, your opinion is as valid as mine, right? Because both of us have never died, so we don't fucking know, right? But if it's like, hey, you tell me that I didn't descend from other forms of humans, then I need flat out evidence as to why that is. Go for the sub Rex Arena for the five. Check out Claire Fable's chats. Yeah, that's just odd. What about people who have died and got revived? Uh, near death experiences? They didn't actually die. Near-death experiences, your brain didn't die. Uh, your heart died. If your heart stops, you're, you're written off as dead, but you're not actually dead. You're, you're, your heart just stopped. Uh, no one has ever come back from being brain dead. Uh, if you are brain dead, you're fucking dead. Uh, you will never come back. Uh, Apollo for the three. They could still keep your body alive, but you're dead. Uh, like, if you're brain dead and they're keeping you alive on machines, uh, you're written off as dead in the government. You will never come back. Uh, like no one ever in the history of mankind has come back from being brain dead. Um, felt like the 50 wasn't enough best streamer on the platform. Thank you. Uh, Amar for the three. In, uh, majority of religion is completely reliant on faith. Well, yeah, that's what faith is. 
strong belief in God or the doctrines of religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. It wouldn't be valid for a Christian to believe in evolution because they are turning against their own book. Yeah. For Sasquatch, footprints are really interesting. But that also gets into the interpretation of certain Bible, uh, like Bible segments. Because you can give it to 10 people and you don't, they don't need to know the context of it. So the people who say that Sasquatch is all, uh, that's all nonsense, it's all hoax, it's all made up. Well, if it is made up, the people who are hoaxing this happen to be biomechanical geniuses. Like that, uh, this past week, there were two sightings. This the past area week, there were two sightings. is where they saw the thing. And before it turns... If people are seeing... My issue is if people are seeing Bigfoot this often, why has nobody ever shot that motherfucker with a hunting rifle? There's a tree on the left-hand side of the road that fell over the road. Before going to the two places where he has found footprints just days ago, we went around the museum to learn about what to look for and how to find these footprints. Starting Somebody at said Joe is all-knowing, guys. Are you being sarcastic? Joe knows everything, guys. Are you mad at me? I don't think I'm all-knowing in any way. I'm sharing what I am personally thinking. If you disagree, you are very well allowed to say why and what you personally believe. If it's specifically philosophical. Now, if it's something along the lines of, like, you just want to be, like, homophobic, now that's different. But I'm saying, like, I, I, don't, I don't believe that I am right on all accords. I think I'm wrong many of the time. Or much of the time. Right? Um, but you coming into my chat and sarcastically saying that I'm all-knowing, uh, I don't believe that I'm all-knowing. Right? Um, now, if you have anything valid that you would like to say in the sense of why you think I'm, I'm wrong, please share Sassy for the three. I'm a Christian. I've always wondered where the other people came from. Like there was an Adam, like there was Adam and Eve, and then they had sons. But where did the wives come from? Yanni for the sub. Well, if the belief is Adam and Eve existed, and Adam and Eve were the only two humans, and they've created everybody else, then everybody would be related, right? And to a degree, everybody is related. If you go any two humans, if you go back far enough, descendant wise, we have descendant common ancestors. I think within like thirty generations or something like that. I don't know how many generations it is. I fucking read something about it one time, but. We all do have common ancestors. It really just depends how far off. Why is it that when chatters come into my chat that, like, follow me for, like, two minutes, they come in here, and then they fucking type some shit, and then when I actually respond to it, they never give a response back? I don't know. Pictures of the footprints. So, to me, this might just be the picture, but they look ridiculously fine. It does look like a wooden stamp to me. So we're just looking at the... the uh... The picture of the feet print over here. Uh -huh. And like to me, it looks kind of like flat. Like, do you find most of them like that? Or oh, is that, that because of the rain? Yes, yeah, because there's water in it. Oh, okay. And apparently. I'm, this is the last thing I'm going to say. I don't claim that I know everything. I think I love talking about these types of topics because they interest me. So I sometimes seem like maybe aggressive in the way that I'm talking very fast and trying to proclaim what I say. But I'm not saying what I say about the afterlife or anything among those points is definitively right, right? What I like to say is that if somebody says they're definitively right, that just makes you seem like you think you know everything, right? I don't think I know everything, uh, which is why I welcome people to disagree with me, right, in those senses. Uh, some people say, oh, no, you don't. But that's in the sense of like, hey, if you're like, ah, I don't like gay people, like that's that's you just being homophobic. That's not you sharing any valid point, right? That's just you saying you don't like gay people. Like, if we're talking about the afterlife and you believe in heaven and hell and I don't, I want to know why, right? We could find different kinds of prints. Wait, is this a, a butt print? Ain't no way. <laughs> Bigfoot more like Thickfoot. <laughs> <laughs> then we learned what to listen that could lead us to the footprints. <laughs> So these are the sounds recorded. Then finally, we found a way to lure Bigfoot to us, the Nutella. No way, Bigfoot dipped his fingers in here. Is that what it's saying? Nutella. They actually have a fucking thing of Nutella on display, and they said that he put his fucking fingers in that shit and ate it. Nutella cast. And this is all we needed to start going to where Cliff found footprints. All right, so we finally made it to How do you how do you definitively determine that that was Bigfoot? That dipped his fucking fingers in the Nutella in the Nutella fucking jar. Like if you didn't see him do it, it's kind of hard to find. Apparently, it looks like big fingers. 
What the fuck Close just happened? Uh... He can find tracks here. So he basically said, go up this way, look for a broken tree, and then like head off to the left, and that's where they found it. So that's- Go be an HV ask, uh, HV ask for the sub. Exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so if we do find these footprints, probably will. I bought this plaster so we can get our own plaster cast of big feet. Man, I'm just thinking like, I get a video of Bigfoot, oh my gosh, we'll be famous. He may have, may have had big feet, but I got a big heart. I got a big heart. Just, uh, just two guys going for a hike with plaster. Are they literally just walking around until they find a footprint? Nothing weird going on here. No way to stop this. Oh, dude, that's probably the tree. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep, we're gonna go deeper in, but first we're just gonna look around the tree, because he made it sound like it was pretty easy to find. I kind of think that was because, uh, he, I mean, he's been doing this for, like, longer than I've been alive, so it might just be really easy for him. I have to find these footprints. But dude, I always see videos of, uh, people and they're like, look, this is proof of Bigfoot, and it's literally stuff that looks exactly like that. Where it's like, trees that are like crossing each other. It's like, ah, that's not a small. Oh Dude, my. walking aimlessly in the woods to try and find a fucking Bigfoot footprint is, they're, they're gonna be wandering for hours. Oh my God. I'm like, I actually see how people could do this research a lot. Like the amount I wanna find these feet prints is like, Probably <laughs> the best way to compare this is like a, is like a, a playing the lottery. I'm like a gambling addict. It's like I need to keep playing the lottery to win. I need to get that feeling of winning. But for me, it's like I need to keep searching for these feet prints. Basically, if I didn't explain it well, our strategy right now is look for a lot of broken stuff, go towards it, look for feet prints. It's pretty easy. Pretty simple. Okay, I see a lot of broken stuff over there. There's like a pile of broken stuff. See that? Okay, Deadass, he could just jump cut and carve out what looks to be a big footprint and then just fucking say he found one. I've seen dips like this. Like... Uh, that's not a footprint. We've been in the woods too long, man. Going crazy. We continue to look for hours. I'll skip through it. We split up, got a little bit lost, and in the end, found nothing but a bunch of weirdly broken branches. I'd be worried. I don't know where they are, but like, oh, Oregon. Are there bears in Oregon? I'd be fucking worried that some brown bear would come out and fucking maul me. We've been looking for- They're just wandering alone in the woods with nothing to protect themselves. A pretty long time at this point. Fucking, and I'd, I'd, I'd be fucking so nervous. I feel like we've honestly been getting further. I mean, we still do have the other place to camp at and we have a lot of things to do there, like <laughs> set Nutella out. Put a trail cam out, and I mean, they put a camp. trail cam by Nutella, dude. A fucking raccoon's about to come out and fucking eat that shit. Camp there, bro. He told us it would be easy to find, man. He told us it would be easy to find. I like feel like a failure. I feel like, yeah, I feel like a failure. Here is where we're gonna camp the night. We're gonna look around a little first because there could also be footprints here. There could be foot tracks. We could hear something. So we went deep in, set up camp, and then started searching. This is the place where we heard a call while we were out there wow. casting the footprints. We listened to what they recorded in the forest, which was tree knocks and monkey sounds. I think they would even agree with this. That's hard for me to believe. Without... Right, that would scare the fuck out of me, though. Imagine hearing that in the middle of the woods at, like, 2 a.m. The ooh. If you were in the jungle, I'd be like, oh, it's just like a fucking chimpanzee or some shit. Me, like, hearing it. If you're in Oregon, I'd be like, uh, I, I'm dead. We have a banana for you. <laughs> Everyone laugh until I whip up the stick. I'm gonna whack the heck out of this. And uh, we'll just wait. Wait to hear something. It's fucking raining. Bigfoot's not gonna hear you whacking a tree if he's half a mile away.
After the stick broke, we just listened. And then we saw a light in the distance. What's the glowing light over there? Over where? Right there. Huh? Right there. Then on our way to the light. I heard something. What? I'd have a gun on me, I swear to God. I'd have a gun on me. I, I ain't even gonna get into that shit, but I'd be like, bro, I'd be fucking nervous. In the middle of the fucking woods, pitch black. I'm not worried about people. I'd be worried about an animal. Animal abuse if you shoot Bigfoot. Uh, not if he starts mauling me. Who is your boot? Hitting something? If you see an eight-foot fucking gorilla-esque man, just go, and then fucking run at you on two feet, I'm shooting him. I'll do, I'll do, I'll shoot him in the stomach first. You gotta act dead. How, dude, it's not a fucking brown bear, you kinkin. You don't know what big, how do you know if Bigfoot would be aggressive? Act dead against Bigfoot. Like that's gonna work. But I heard like. <laughs> so we followed the sound, looking for footprints, and also looking for a place to set up our cameras overnight. <laughs> what if it's just Shaq, Shaq in a gorilla suit? You just see him in the middle of Oregon. He's like, "Yo, what's up?" You're like, "Dude, what are you doing?" He's like, "This is my hobby." I've been keeping the Bigfoot thing alive for a while. I just walk around in an eight-foot tall gorilla suit. People take pictures of me and freak out, and then I run away. Oh, shit. No way. Oh, dude, that literally gave me goosebumps. Somebody said, why Shaq? Because somebody said Shaq. Are you going to try and say this is racist? Are you going to try and... Evo, I know what you're about to do here, buddy. Evo, Evo, I'm going to shut you down real... I'm going to shut you down here real quick. It's because he's tall, and so Chatter already said it. Phone throw. This light is dying, actively dying right now. Bigfoot is literally, quite literally, licking his fingers right now. <laughs> He's uh, tall. That's why I thought you said Shaq, dude. That's what I'm saying. Wait, it almost looked like right when you were standing. I've just really, really wanted to find something for myself. We, I'm like actually trying to look very well at the floor here. Wait, guys. I make these videos every week looking for a different creature, trying to find something crazy, trying to prove if something insane exists. There's a, there will be a video a week from today, and it will probably be crazier than this. I love it, but it would mean the world to me if you guys subscribe. But, I mean, for now, we're I think we're going to start going back to the camp. Our flashlights are done. I will sub to him. I was going to say I'll sub if you find Bigfoot, but... We know that's not going to happen! Fine. I'm excited to set up, like, the trail camps and the new Nutella. <laughs> Oh, my God. No. I mean... All right, as you see here, we got the three trail cams. They record only when motion is detected. They start recording and their night vision, so they can see anything. And under that, we got three Nutellas. The big foot dipped his fingers in here. Nutella. Yo, if I didn't care about my health, I would eat Nutella by the spoonful. Like, that would be... Oh my god. Yo, chat, just imagine eating a tub of Nutella with a spoon, dude. Oh, that would be... Uh, I used to do that. Yeah, that's like that's like horrifying for your health. Uh, you would eat a tub of Nutella with a spoon? I used to eat Nutella on waffles all the time. But like, dude, new oh my god. If I could just fucking eat that shit like ice cream. Oh. Yes. Let's just put it like right here. So we set up our three camera traps. And then that shit coats your mouth and you're like. That's trap number one set. To hopefully catch Bigfoot while we were sleeping. So this is the final one. Then we went to sleep waiting to hopefully find evidence in the morning. I'm getting dripped on. By the rain that wasn't supposed to rain. But I heard something right pretty close. I might be driven because it's 3 a.m. 
So now we're going to check the three spots. We grabbed the cameras, headed to the car to go through the footage, and there were around 20 videos that got recorded. So there might be something. It's all gonna be random animals. All of this research and talking to experts led to this. But before I look at these videos, well, even though the series is called Is Bigfoot Actually Real? I knew I wasn't going to be able to say yes or no 100% by the end of this. Because not even the Bigfoot experts can say they 100% believe. 99% I just wanted to see why so many people believe what the hardest evidence was out there. The videos were hard for me to believe, even with the arguments saying it couldn't be a human. I just don't really think that's completely true because of humans that did end up walking like the videos. And it's very easy to fake. The stories I heard were way more convincing, but the only problem is you can never 100% believe something from a story, even though there are thousands. This was, to me, a lot more convincing. The sounds in the forest are interesting, but once again, those are even easier to fake than the videos. And then finally, Finally, the most believable hard evidence. It's just because it all can be faked. And yeah, this is hard evidence, but it's like you could also fake a casting of a foot. Like somebody could have just done that and then you stumble upon it or you did it. Which is why most people, experts, and even scientists believe is the footprints. At first, I thought these were just fake footsteps, but then I found out they've been found thousands of times by many, many different people over the span of like a hundred years and was very, very realistic and detailed. Over a hundred years makes it more believable. Because, like, I doubt somebody's going to be faking that shit in the fucking 1920s. It doesn't seem like it could be a hoax at all because it would just be the longest running, most difficult hoax ever. Yeah, but you're selling an authentic Bigfoot print for $50. That's it. A creature that no one has ever seen, and you have a footprint of it, and it's only 50 bucks. But the extreme skeptic side of me would say- That shit's fake. Hey, this. The castings looked very real, but I didn't really see any pictures of footprints that looked like, much- Like, if that was a real foot- that, that'd be like, dude, if you actually- if, that, if it was, like, identified by scientists, oh, this is a real foot paired of Bigfoot, that would be going for, like, thousands of dollars like the castings a lot of them looked flat on the bottom it did look like a foot stamp but that doesn't mean they're not fake i might have just not seen the right pictures and even the stories and everything i don't think that's enough to say that this is 100 percent fake but i don't think it's enough to say it's 100 percent real we finally watched the footage from last night nothing don't tell me no we, animal we didn't capture anything but this Not is all the no evidence animal I could even gather. came up. I would love to hear if you guys think he's real. If you have any stories, but this is just gonna stay a mystery for me. It's just gonna stay a unknown. That was a good video. Yo, you, you chat. You know what's fucking crazy though? A lot of people always assume or not assume. Like, I w it, 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 I always think that every animal ever is interacting with humans. There's just some fucking animals at the bottom of the ocean right now that are fucking each other up. Think about that. Think about that. In the middle of Alaska, hundreds of miles from other people, there's just a bird fucking mauling a, a bunny right now. Makes you think. Jomon for the sub, gentle for the sub, precise for the three. Sorry, I just saw the pin comment mess for the sub, hey for the three. I have states for wrestling tomorrow. Good luck. Pre uh, precise for the three. How can we watch VODs? You already saw that. Gaming, gaming for the three. Rob for the three. Are you going for a PhD or a master's? I would maybe go back for my master's like one day, but probably not. What are you going to do with your degree after college? Nothing. Maybe start a YouTube channel for philosophy. Maybe a podcast. I've really thought about that. Doing a YouTube channel for philosophy and then maybe a podcast to go alongside that, but... Outside of that, I just really wanted the degree because it's something that I find interesting. I would say philosophy is more so my passion than anything else. Um, when I'm done social media, I'm probably just going to open a business. Random and Herrick for the sub, Amar for the three. HBS for the sub, Dopey for the sub, Bennett for the three. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Loving for the sub. All right. We got next video here, chat. Hold up. I got to go take a piss real quick. So y'all need to count me down 30 fucking seconds and i will be back count me down hold up let me play a song for y'all count me down
Yo, the intro to this song is fire, though. God, man, that's just like, you know how there's some beats that like, I could just listen to this shit nonstop all day. You, there's no music. You can't hear it. Fuck off. Fuck off. You guys are lying. You're trolling. You're trolling. You're serious? So when I left, it was dead silent. Can you hear it now? That, dude, that beat right there, there's some beats, dude. Another beat. I'm going to fucking throw y'all some beats that are just like, hold up. Another fire beat. Can't, like, it's just like, you listen to that shit, and it's like, damn. Like, they fucking aced it right here. Not right here. When he stops, when he stops singing. Right there. The da -da 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 -da. It's about to be so awkward on the VOD. Where's another one? Dude, there's so many beats that are like that where it's like, fuck. Just so good. Oh, right here, Rosalind. Oh! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Chat, chat, chat. This, that shit, when you walk, if you ever walk through the woods, play this bitch. Sunset, play this bitch, bro. Oh my god. Resonance, another one. I could just I could not stop do this. This shit makes me feel like I'm in the future. I swear to fuck. Yo. Yo, hop on a fucking skateboard. When this when the sun's setting, dude, fucking play this song. Downhill. Oh my god. <sighs> Another one. I gotta play it. Chat, now you got me down a rabbit hole. Now I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna hit y'all with bangers. It's gonna be nonstop. Where's another one? Blondie, great song. That's just a good song. Not really crazy beat. Interlude? No. Is interlude good? No, not that one. Right here? Sodas? Nah. I'm just going through my playlist right now. Interstellar music? This is going to be so awkward on the VOD. I'm just sitting there. Shit makes you fucking freak out. Memory reboot? Shut up. Cornfield? <laughs> who the fuck who the fuck's going to be in a cornfield, bro? What about this? Oh, no, it's not that one. Fuck, there's another song that's also fucking fire. One of you guys recommended one of these songs. Oh, this one's sad. Oh, it's so sad. Fire song. Okay, one more. Or maybe like ten more. Hold up. Mr. Rager, just a good song. Japan. Oh, it's right here. Oh, dude, I listen to some fire fucking music. That's the one thing I'm going to say. Most people think my playlists suck. I got the fucking fire playlist. Hold up.
fucking fucking classic song, Pine Grove Shuffle? When they do that. All right, we got to lock back in here. Another good song, not sad though. Dude, I feel like all I care about is the beat though. No lie. Oh, give me your playlist. Spotify reached out to me way back and they were like, do you want to make a playlist? Should I do that? I would love to do like a Spotify curated playlist thing. I could like reach out to them and see if they would let me do that. Make like five playlists or some shit. Clay Pigeons by Michael Sarah, also a good song. Dude, there's one song that I'm missing now, and I remember I wanted to play for y'all, and I never remember the name. I suck at names of songs, but when you play a song, I know I've heard it. Oh, nah, this shit's fucking heat, chat. The chorus, hold up. All right, I gotta lock back in. Colin for the three. Where is my mind, Pixies? What the fuck does that mean? Rex Arena for the five. Everlong's a good song. I feel like it's overplayed. Nick for the four. What was that reggae that you were listening to yesterday? Dude, I listened to like a thousand reggae songs. Floating for the three. Do you fuck with Mitski? What the hell is that? Vibe for the five. Listen to Resonance, a Resonance Reverb. I don't like it reverb or reversed. Uh, little for the three. Blissful by Erling is better. BW for the sub. Don't ask me to play a song. I'm not playing a song right now. We got to get back into reacts. Valkyrie for the five. I think your eyes are very beautiful. Very interesting shape. That's fun to draw. Thank you. Loving uh, and Jomon for the sub. My eyes are an interesting shape. Most people say my eyelids look like ball sacks. I got a lot of extra. I got a lot of. I got a lot of extra skin on there. On the uh, the old eyelids. Like, they're, like, I could, like, stretch my eyelid skin out. Like, pretty far, actually. I can stretch most of my skin pretty far. Is that normal? One cash for the sub. All right, lock back in here, chat. Best of stupid game show answers. Great. Fingers and toes. Miners and hoes. No. Time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they gotta be crabbing people that have never played Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> A group of pill pushers. <laughs> this is Wheel of Fortune, yo! Event is our category. It's worth $1,000. Greg. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, it says it. In old Wheel of Fortune, they used to say the answer, like, just even before. Like, they wouldn't even let people guess. An ace of kidneys. <laughs> How long have you known George here? Seven years. Yeah. Now, now you are signing, I notice. And that, what does that tell us? That means he's deaf. <laughs> An ugly child? Now, you are a school counselor. <laughs> this term for a long-handled gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker term for a long-handled garden uh -oh! gardening tool can also mean an immoral pleasure seeker ken what's a hoe no <laughs> what is it hold up 
This term for a long-handed gardening tool, a gardening tool, can also mean an Im immoral pleasure seeker. A shovel, a pickaxe. What the fuck is a pickaxe? A rake? An immoral pleasure seeker. Ken. What's a hoe? No. <laughs> Whoa. 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 They teach you that in school in Utah, huh? Al, what's a rake? A rake is right. A rake? How is that an immoral pl What is a rake? Edda Tessman, <laughs> Helen Alving, Newt Brovik. Who are three people who have never been in my kitchen? I don't know. <laughs> what O is the generic word for any living animal or plant, including bacteria and viruses? Wife. Orgasm. Oh. <laughs> Why is there always old shows? Because they fucking cut that shit out of new ones. That's why all of the new episodes are fucking stupid. Family Feud, Steve Harvey asks, what are you going to fucking find in a bedroom? And then somebody says something that's going to be found in a bedroom that might be a bit odd. And, he, and Steve goes, <laughs> and then he acts like it, they said the most obscene thing in the world. <laughs> Steve Harvey's face is the same thing as that one puppet from, um, God, what is that one puppet from, like, a PlayStation game where he goes like this? And he turns. Chat, you know what I'm talking about. What's, what, what is it? What is it? Somebody, Sackboy? Is it Sackboy? Sackboy turning around. Yes. Literally. You every Steve Harvey, every Steve Harvey fucking family feud answer that is at, at all mildly interesting. <laughs> How he turns. Random guy for the five fucking gifted subs. Thank you for the five fucking gifteds. Thank you, we got a sub. Thank you for the five. Get this longing for the sub RT and one cash for the sub. Cool for the thread. Can you play Where's My Mind by the Pixies after the video? No. Uh, I'm not playing any songs. I said I, I, I wanted to say, I said it earlier on. I was like, I'm not playing any songs right now. I'll play, I'll play five seconds of the song because I feel bad, but I'm not playing any more songs. Like, literally any more. I'm not playing any more songs today. It is a fire song. Now, what the fuck am I watching? Occasionally, you're going to get stuck. Oh. There, there are reasons. There are reasons which I won't go into that I can't accept that particular... All right, players, tell me what type of vehicles are used to compete in the legendary Tour de France. Alan again. Uh, uh, SUVs. <laughs> Name a specific part of the body that women try to accentuate. Saber. Rest. What fucking game show is this? Why are they in, like, athletic gear? Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Mm, see, like, why are they asking that? Why are they asking these questions? If they're, if they're gonna be upset with the answers, why ask? Th they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Freddy, penis. <laughs> what would be the ideal... Every day, temperature, everybody. No, you know what's nuts? Old T, if you ever watch old game shows, the hosts would like kiss the women on the lips. Shit was whack. Like casually just be like, oh, welcome, kiss. Yeah, no, dude, you ever watch the old, the game show network? Hold up. Old game show hosts kissing. I love all of you. I'll never get to see Kim again. Thank you, babe. Bye. 
That's for luck. Come here. So <laughs> rude. <laughs> like every. <laughs> Dude. Like every fucking guest, man. You, are y'all didn't know that? Yo, they did. It was like every. It was specifically him too, but like every guest. It would just be like a fucking makeout sash, dog. Body. Not like a, not like a cheek kiss, like some, uh, not like an Italian thing, but it's like, like on the lips. This robe. Like a cheek kiss would be like a bit different. Ninety-eight points. <laughs> Look how tight my man's gripping her shoulder. Survey said. Deo. <laughs> like living on the Aquita. Name a kind of bear. Carmen. Papa bear. A papa bear, of course. <laughs> only a papa bear. <laughs> Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Diapers. Clothes. <laughs> something only worn by children? I don't even know what I would fuck. What do you fucking say to that? Sketchers shoes. Name something you might accidentally leave on all night. <laughs> what, what is something where only worn by children? Princess Taylor said child clothes. Your shoes. <laughs> I hope you won't take this the wrong way, Kenneth, but you are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Got a boyfriend? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to get off the subject of schools. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, sorry Michael. I for, for, forgive me. A girlfriend. Have you got a girlfriend? No, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> now they cheer him. I'm a very happy little fella myself, actually. <laughs> Name something you feel before you buy it. Excited. <laughs> what? <laughs> Math? A bed? Yeah, a bed, a blanket. At Sir Irving's knighting, the queen slipped with her sword, so instead of being knighted, Sir Irving was blanked. Uh, bar mitzvah. <laughs> Circumcised. <laughs> Being married to a drill sergeant has his drawbacks. Every time we make love, he expects me to clean his weapon. <laughs> that guy's from fucking Corey in the house. <laughs> All right, this fucking sucks. Their answers are cringe. Next! Game for the fucking two subs. O Oster for the three. Do you music react stream? I would love to do that. Skill for the sub. All right. Next video. I almost fought a caddy. Lock in. Look at the vibey music. <laughs> Watching Dr. Disrespect walk around in everyday life, still wearing his mullet wig and gamer headset is crazy. I don't know what it is. It might be the white guy in me, but I really want to learn how to golf well. Oh my God. I'm gonna this summer. I know I am. I want to learn how to golf so bad. It just, it looks so, it looks so fun, you know? You get to drive a golf cart, have a couple brewskis, whack a ball, two, two, three hundred yards, fucking keep it going, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Strawberry Farms in good old Irvine, California. A lot of people have been asking, can we follow around with the two time? Can we golf? Today, Absolutely. You're welcome. We're just gonna get involved, see how low we can score. It's been a while since we've played. 
And uh, what's the situation? Who is that? How we doing? I'm your caddy for the day. I, I didn't ask. Do you get a caddy? I've never been. I've been to a driving range and a chip and putt. Do you get a caddy? No, right? I mean, you could probably request one. You don't get a caddy golfing, right? That's like pros. Like pros have caddies. Who should I support in the NFL as an Australian? Whatever team you want. Knight for the five. Skillful for the sub. If you, you're going to seem cringe if you just auto default to the Chiefs, though. So I would say any team but the Chiefs. Because if you're like from Australia and you're like, oh, I like the Chiefs. And they just won. A, a team, I would, yo, a good pick, a good pick to ride is the Bills. Yeah, somebody said the Bills. That's a good pick. That's for a caddy. No, they assigned me to you. Uh, yeah, they assigned who? me to you. Who? Who? The, the front office did. I'm just trying to play solo. Oh, that must be my mistake. Dr. Disrespect presents I Don't Need a Golf Caddy. That's gonna be the whole video. You wanna play? Do, do, you, do you want, are you gonna swing it today? I'm just here to help. Then load your clubs onto the cart. Okay. I don't Why wanna be- Why does he have clubs if he's a caddy? Convenience, but I am here to help you be successful, you know? Uh, hole one, talk to me. Wow, dude. Yo, I wanna go golfing so bad because I know I'm gonna be so dick. I'm going to be so ass. Like, I don't know how people are going to act. Yo, I swear to God, you set me up on this tee box. I'm wedging that fuck right into the fucking, right into the woods. I'm driving that bitch fucking 80 degrees left. Yo, CJ, you want to do me a favor and shut the fuck up? Oh, my God. What is your unban appeal? You're a fuck. Yo, what the fuck? Why, why are you spamming this? You just started following. Did you have your account banned? Are you angry that you got banned? What do you want me to fucking look at? Oh, my God. Fucking spamming. Asking me to check a fucking unban request. What, what request, man? If it's that big of a fucking deal. I do need to do an unban stream soon. But that'll probably be like... Fucking two weeks from now. You gonna say anything? Is he here? He just said review on ban appeals and spammed it. Come on, man. Hold up. He didn't type anything else. He just said review on bands. Dog. I I will review them another point in time. Like there's 132 on ban requests. I'm not going through 132 on ban requests right now. Uh, we'll do it another day. Probably like two fucking weeks from now, man. You gonna say anything or are you just gonna fucking sit there? I I respond to your chat, I pull up your fucking user on my stream, you know, I'm asking you what the fuck why the fuck you're spamming, and then it's just, you hit me with an okay. Can you respond to why you're spamming, or is it just going to be an okay, right? Sorry. Why? You're not asking my question! Or answering my question. I think I said asking. G Fuel. You spelled G Fuel wrong. I'm banning you. I'm not dealing with it. Goo for the three. Are we having enough time for meat? No. Night for the five. Please don't get in my way. Wow. That I feel like that was a bad hit. I don't know golf, but that just... He should knock it in. Oh, he knock thinks he's going to miss it? You should consider... You should consider knocking give that Give me in. that. Hey, give me it. <laughs> Wait, do you actually not have to knock it in on the last hit if it's close enough? J Fred for the three. My brother showed me the stream a month ago. Now you're my favorite streamer and YouTuber. Thank you. 
Let me grab your putter. Wait. Let me put the stick back. Okay. That's a great roll. That's a great roll. That's a, that's how we start around. I mean, they don't come better than that. Look at this. Look they at don't this. Come Look at this. Wow, no way. <sighs> Ooh, see, that's where I start smacking the fucking green and get kicked out. Hey, do I, do I pick that? I'm trying to establish what we're going to do here. Do I pick that up or do you knock that in? I'm going to pick it up. I'll pick it up. That's a great I part. feel like I would want to knock it in because then you feel the satisfaction of actually getting it in the hole versus just fucking getting it close and then leaving. I got to pick, pick up. Don't ever pick up my ball again. I That's a great play. Great roll. Oh, he's actually golfing with him now? 499 yards? What par would that be? Like, that's far as shit. I don't know golf, but, like, I feel like that's fucking far. Go grab your driver. Let's see what you're, you're working with. Like a par with. five? Man. I probably like uh, you've been yeah, I don't know. You've been talking a lot. You're the course pro. you got the caddy. Hey, I'll tell you what. And how do they determine par? Is that like what an average good golfer would get it in? I'm a top three caddy locally. I'm not three. I'm not two. You run the numbers. I want you to play this right off the right side of this hill. Right over the edge of this bunker. Let's go play ball. Par five. And what's our yardage right here? That front bunker? Uh huh. Two he has a fucking binoculars out. What if I don't believe you? That flagstick, 251. What if I don't believe you? A seven iron. Where's your ball? It's a range Where's finder. Where's your ball, man? It's got to be over. I ain't no golf was that serious with, like, caddies doing a fucking extra shit. Like, you're a fucking sniper assistant. Here, huh? I really need to know how to golf, bro. I got to learn. I feel like that'd just be so sick. It's... I, I hate... Where's to, your ball? I hate to... It's... In the f cart. Let's flip the script here. All right. Here, here. Okay. Let's flip the You script. want me to cut it? You tell me. All right. You tell me what you like here. I got you. Did you just kick his ball? You handed it to me backwards. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally par par, right? I laid it up right here. I got a great opportunity. Golf is up. boring if you're not drunk. I feel like it's just vibey. Like, it's, like, nice out. You're on a fucking open green. On the green for birdie opportunity. Unless it's hot as shit. Then it'd suck. Oh. Oh. Imagine going golfing. It's, like, 105 out. How do people in Arizona golf? And then you got one of these dudes. Check Jinxie's live. Bro. It's going to be him playing rainbow. Oh, he's looked like naked. Jinx appreciate full team streamer. Dude, full time street. You see that? That's all. Awesome. He, he is a. He got big nipples. Allie for the four. Respect to all streamers that actually add to the video. Thank you. Or are you just. Are you saying that to me? Or are you saying that, like, like is that, like, a, a rip on me? Back into it. You missed, like, seven days out of the whole year. Last IRL golf stream? I would do an IRL golf stream. That'd be fucking hilarious. Talk to me. How, uh, what's your yardage? Oh, I need the gun. I need the gun. Oh, it's right here. It, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. I've been doing this at the highest level my whole entire life, and I've got to sit here and wait for this caddy. What's your name? Do you again? have to dress formal to go golfing too. See, that's what I wouldn't want to fucking do. You, there's probably like a dress code. If you had, to, if you have to make me wear fucking dress pants and a polo and dress shoes. And
You definitely can't pull up in like sweatpants and a hoodie. Caddy, just call me Caddy. No, what's your name? Caddy. Caddy. It depends on the course. Oh, like high fucking high end courses. You got to be all fucking fancy. You got to sit here and wait for this caddy. I'm going to run up there. I'm going to put my hands up. Kind of like the YMCA. I'm going to be the Y in YMCA. Tell me where I need to land it. I need you to put it on the front of the green. I right. need you to tell me where I need to land it. Right on the front of the green over me. That doesn't tell me where it needs to go. Right over the front of me. Jesus. Does he just stand directly in front of him when he fucking time. hits it? Our father. Please in heaven. Please let him put it up in the air and not skull it right in my chest. Because I will go down. I will go down. I feel like that was way off. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't generate the swing speed that someone with your frame does, you know? What do you do? Are you allowed, if you, if I just rip it right into the fucking woods, do I get to go again? Or do you have to go into the fucking woods and hit that shit? I feel like it depends. Like if you're fucking, if you're shooting that bitch and it goes way out there, you fucking restart. It's out of bounds. Drop ball. Yeah, drop ball just like in mini golf. I know. I know. I've been I've been I've been to my share fair share of mini golf courses. Like what do we got? I feel like you finally got the hole. I don't want to say I would be a good putter. Right where you want it. I feel like I do. Is this a birdie opportunity? Take a mulligan. 17 yards. I'm what sorry. What are we gunning? We're gunning the flag. We're gunning 17 yards. Do you not want the most accurate read I can give you? So then where do you want me to put the ball? I want you to put the hole. Where do you want me to land it? I want you to land it right there. Didn't I want you to land it right there? I mean, I could point to. Hey, let's go over there. If hey, you, let's let's try to land. Listen, hey, let's I try I, to land I, the I, ball I, right there. I don't think you're listening to me, and that's the problem. Then then show me. Okay. Your experience with I this. Feel what is, is somebody bitching about the video? This guy said he's bored. Buddy, it's the last video of the fucking day. I always do something that's more vibey. It's not going to be some high action type shit. This video is not it. Then leave. Isha for the sub. Allie for the four. I feel like, of course. I feel like I've, I've taught you. What have you taught? As much as I could teach you. Okay. Keep your head down. Stay through uh -huh. it. Release. And what did I tell What's you? What's next? Stream in like two weeks. Par, par, par. Birdie opportunity. Who walked you through that? Did you? Did you? Who wanted to take over on three when you went one over? Hmm. Now let me walk out here. I'm gonna pull the okay. stick. Okay. I'm gonna point to where I want you to put it. And if you don't put it where I tell you, it's not gonna go in the hole. It's as simple as that. Hey, hey. Trust me. I want it right here. I want it right here. It's not you even it near the hole. With the 60 degree? I want it right here. You're using the 60? Okay. I want it right here. I want you to flop it. Okay. With a little love. And I want you to roll it out into the cup. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Just do it for me one time. Okay. Oh my God. I thought he was already going to fucking go for it. Dude, I wouldn't be able to take a practice swing. I feel like I'd fucking whip that bitch. Just accidentally hit it. No way. No. That's a bad read on my part. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Last three holes of the evening. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh, see, that's like a nice golf course. I'm looking at it. I'm looking. Wait, I'm look. I'm looking at it. Oh, like imagine owning a house up there. Well, all those people are fucking billionaires. I'm looking no, at no, it. No, no, not billionaires. Multi-millionaires. I'm looking at it. You just don't appreciate it. It's a par four. I'm gonna play Take a baby a draw off the cart path. The I'm gonna put it setting. on the green. The sun is setting. You think you can water ski this? Mm. No. No. Are you water skiing this? 
I'd single ski this real quick. I don't know if you noticed. Three holes. What do we want to do? I want to put money on the line. I want to put money on the line. Play. He's just pulling out How loose much? fucking <laughs> loose cash out of his pocket. How much for? Huh? I, How much? I'll rip the shit. It don't matter. I... How much? We're playing three holes. Three holes. That's it. I'm willing to go 100 a hole. I'm willing to go 100 a $100 hole. $100 Deal. a hole. What? That easy? 200 a hole. 200 a hole. Deal. What? 500 hole. No! Deal. No! Deal. I can't- Five hundred dollars a fucking hole. Afford that. Deal. I can't afford that. It's hand shaking. I wouldn't want to live near a golf course on second thought. Like, if you lived here, if somebody really fucking whacks, like, how often do you think these homes are getting hit by balls? Probably not that often, but I've seen some golf courses that have houses, like, right here. And, like, golf course for the whole day to film this video? Really? Oh. That was probably so much fucking money. How many views did this video get? <clears throat> See, like, I don't know. I mean, 900k is a lot of fucking views, but... He's rich? Yeah, but I'm still saying renting a golf course for a fucking day is probably not cheap. Seeing that a base tee time is probably like a hundred bucks. And that's for like fucking four hours for one guy. Having a whole golf course to yourself though is probably so sick. So they don't owe each other money. But they're playing individual holes. That's such a short hole. I feel like you could fucking hole in one that. 147 yards. Up, you know I mean? yeah. Yeah. Don't put your arm around. Could be sponsored. Don't put your by arm what? around. By what? Oh, you tied. think it's sponsored Don't. by the golf course? Um, Bunker, give me your thoughts. Give me your... 146. Mm. Damn, that's good. 152. Yep. Oh my God, that's, awesome. that's about to go in the sand, dude. Are the caddy could three. own the course. Are we in the bunker? Hey. You want me to be real? I don't think a golf course center would be that fun. Like, this guy's pretty off. Hey, welcome. 100 bucks, we don't get out of here for real. How about you watch your mouth while I'm trying to explain something? Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Dr. Disrespect. Hey, I'm going to teach you how to hit out of the bunker. We're about 35, 40 feet away from the pin. Is it really that is, hard to hit out of fucking sand? Don't you just angle it up? This is exactly what you do. You grab your 60 degree, and obviously, if you've got a custom made one like this from Callaway, <laughs> right? if you've got that custom made 60 degree, what you gotta do is you gotta open up that face, right? Put a lot of weight on your front foot, and what you gotta come down, come down about two inches behind the ball, and just make sure the impact of that club face coming through lines up exactly with where you wanna go. And let me go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. One more time. <laughs> One more time. What are we laughing at? <laughs> hey guys, Dr. Disrespect here. I'm looking at an incredible. No way. Here's the problem. Is it actually that hard? You gotta, you really gotta open the club face open. And if you open the club face and you swing through it normally, it should just, you spray it out. You just spray it out, you know? Just show me what to do. Let me get in there. Hey, oh let me no. Get in there. Yo, this hey. would make me feel like such a fucking loser if he just easily does it. Let me get in there. Open this face up. You see how open that face is? You open it up. And you just, you really just want to spray it out. Nice and easy. Nice little swing. <laughs> oh my God, neither of them can get it out. Disrespect here. We are live on my YouTube channel. Hey, we're going to demonstrate how to hit out of the sand. Several hours later. Hey, you know what we should do? We should go play the uh, part you know, three. How about we just call it right there? Dude, it's actually dark out. No, how yeah, about we... That's a great call. 
great call. No, let's it's great playing with you. Let's go play that. No, nah, I don't want to play that part three. No. Super for the Sun Nitro for the 325. Uh, love you, you hanging with the boys, watching you. Thanks for all you do. Duh. W video. All right, chat. That was a W stream. We're going to call that there. Um, I'm going to be uploading on YouTube literally right now. Uh, but y'all want to go peep um, the uh, new YouTube video. That would be very much appreciated. Um, what do we want to post today? I got to pick the video. And I don't know what video I want to pick. We're going to go with... Living in the coldest city with 22 kids. We're going to post that one, chat. We'll probably post the blunt rotation tier list on Sunday, so make sure to go watch that. But outside of that, chat, W stream. Uh, exclamation point, Discord, join the Discord, send videos for your actual games to play, video sketch tab, game slash tab. That's how I find most of the videos that I watch in the games that I play. Mods pin the Discord link. Uh, genuinely, if you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there. That's how I find most of the videos that I watch in the games that I play. Outside of that, tomorrow, I will be live uh, to EST, probably a little bit earlier, like 1.45. Uh, we're going to be setting up for, or not setting up, uh, we're going to be playing uh, a Block Wars tourney, Block Wars rookies, a lot of variety streamers in the event, a lot of people that are known. Uh, me, uh, Sneak Snag, Handsome Fella, Big Puffer, and Pezzy are all on the same team. Uh, we're going to be going against eight other, seven other teams uh, in Minecraft Block Wars. Um, the event starts at 2, I'll be live at fucking 145, probably EST. Uh, Sunday, I'll be live at 2 doing reacts. Monday's going to be VR day because I owe you guys a VR day. Then maybe some other shit. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, I'm going to be doing itch.io games, Little Misfortune. Thursday, it's probably going to be Helldivers and then Infinite Craft uh, Racing. Um, Friday's going to be reacts. Next Saturday's probably going to be Ready or Not. And then probably uh, Cooking Companions or maybe some more Killer Frequency. Knock for the sub. W Stream, thank you to everybody that popped out. Uh, everybody that's uh, sub followed, etc. We had a great chat uh, and a great stream today. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, and I hope to catch you guys in future streams, whether it be tomorrow or just a future day. Uh, and who do we want to raid today? Let's fucking raid sidearms. Dude's actually playing, uh, Helldivers right now. Alright. So yeah, I hope you all had fun, uh, and I'll catch y'all soon. We are going raid in five, four, three. Two, one, go watch the YouTube video, and I will catch y'all uh, tomorrow. See y'all then. Rating in five, four, three. Wait. I'm rating the wrong streamer. Rating the wrong streamer. Wasn't popping up. All right, there we go. Now we're rating the right streamer. Would have been a would have been a raid on a dull account. See y'all soon. We're going to raid in five, four, three, two, one.